Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Invite your friends and let us today listen to the wisdom of the Muhammadans. You know, the second you believe in Allah, Allah, he provides you with a special wisdom. I mean, literally, a lot of wisdom. Wiz and dumb. And now we will hear it. And I'm not sure how many of you is going to cry when you hear this wisdom. I'm sure the Muslims will agree with Zakir Naik 100%. I mean, whatever Zakir Naik he says, he must be true. All Muslims agree, even if they don't understand what he's saying. So today our topic is, destiny can be changed or not. Okay, this is the topic, what we can do. Listen carefully. Abdullah from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. If Allah has written the destiny of all human beings 50,000 years before creation of the heavens and the earth, then why do we do du'as? <laughs> See here a Muslim, the question shown you that Muslims, a Muslim from Malaysia, his name is Abdullah, saying like, okay, hello, okay, I'm a Muslim. So if Allah, he created my destiny 50,000 years before I'm created. So what the point? Can I change my destiny? Now Zakir Naik he will give you the medication for that. Listen carefully. At first he's a doctor, so he know that he had the drug for it. From Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. If Allah has written the destiny <laughs> of all human beings fifty thousand years before creation of the heavens and the earth, then why do we do du'as for health or wealth or knowledge? That's a very good question. That if Allah has written the destiny. I noticed that Zakanaik is using iPhone. Zakanaik. The Kufar phone. The American phone. You are supporting the American. What is the Muslim phone? Okay, no problem. Fashion, he's a fashion, you know, he don't carry any phone. If I have to be iPhone. Okay. And the destiny cannot be changed. Then why should we do dua? Why? There's a hadith of a beloved prophet mentioned in Ibn Majah, one number one, hadith number 90, that destiny cannot be changed except by supplication. <laughs> and look how he get excited. Did you hear, did you hear how his voice changed and became so loud suddenly? Look, listen, listen. This is what I call it, like, like the spice of the food. Look, listen, listen. He was speaking calm, and the second he started quoting the prophet, he's so excited. Think carefully. That's a very good question. That if Allah has written the destiny, and the destiny cannot be changed, then why should we do dua? There's a hadith of a beloved prophet mentioned in Ibn Majah, one number one, hadith number 90, that destiny cannot be changed except by supplication. Except by dua. I mean, look how stupid this religion is. There is one of you, I think it's a female lady. You know, the Muslims, they say that women are stupid. This is what they say. They say women are half a brain. This is a post of a female lady. I don't know where she's from, but I think she's a Christian. She said, if you need to pray to change your destiny, Allah should know that you will pray, pray to change your destiny. So it is still a destiny that will be praying to change the destiny. <laughs> if I am that Zakir Naik now and you are saying that to me, I will say to you, Brother Sir, the sister I come with him, and the sister, you get the point there. You get the point there. What she got the point? She hit you in the head, you idiot. If everything you say, everything you do is a destiny by Allah, that's mean Allah, He will destiny to you to pray to Him to change your destiny. I mean, how stupid this religion is.
because everything you do is a destiny, including your prayer. So when Muhammad, he said, and Zakir and I getting so excited, saying you can change your destiny and this is the only way to change your destiny is by making a prayer to change your destiny. But if your prayer itself is a destiny, that's mean this is the most stupid argument ever. So Allah destiny to me to be a Muslim and then Allah destiny to me to, to, to pray as a Muslim and then Allah destiny to me to speak and say words as a Muslim and then Allah destiny to me to ask Allah to change my destiny but this is a destiny which is Allah destined to me to change my destiny. Who is the crazy here? What is, what is this? And look how he gets so excited like yeah it's very important and you know remember in the other video he says Allah don't make destiny Allah predict if you remember yesterday and the reason I am concentrating in this topic because this topic is really destroy everything Islam stands for like you go to heaven blah blah blah, blah. it's a destiny you do you don't do you believe you don't believe it's a destiny in this video here, the guy was asking him, okay, if everything is destined by Allah, if anyone commit any sin, then who is to blame? Zakir Naik, he claimed in this video that destiny does not exist in Islam. Allah just predict. If I am destined to commit a murder, and then I commit a murder, but... Naturally, I will not be responsible for it. It is Allah who has destined it. Therefore, He will be responsible. Then, why should I be punished for this? As far as the question of this Qadr is concerned, it's a common question asked by Muslims as well as non-Muslims about the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's difficult to understand. I'd like to give an example for people to know. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has il -makab, has knowledge of the unseen. He has knowledge of the future. I'll let me give you an example. That if in a classroom hmm. there is a teacher who teaches the students, hmm. after one year has passed, before the examination, the teacher predicts that this child, he will come first class first. This child, he'll get a second class. This child, see, he will fail. And once the examination takes place, and when the results are out, student A gets the first class first, student B, he gets the second class, student C, he fails. Now the question I would like to ask is, that just because the teacher predicted that the student C would fail, can the student C blame the teacher, saying that because the teacher predicted that I will fail, I have failed. So here, as I can now explain, that Allah, He just predict. He there's no destiny. He just deny destiny totally. Do you know what Muhammad said about those who deny destiny? Do you know what Muhammad he said about them? They are kuffar. Let me try to find you. The hadith. They are what? They are kuffar. Let us see. Muhammad he predicted that there were there are going to be in his nation people who they are liars like Zakarnaik who will deny destiny and they will claim it is just a prediction. Allah is guessing. The Prophet said, Among my people. 
there will be people who will falsify divine decree. This is what Zachary Naik he just did in this video. But you see, Zachary Naik here in this video is just trying to defend the stupidity of Islam. So he's saying, yeah, you cannot blame God for what happened, what you did. But as you see, it's a decree. Everything in Islam is a decree. Even Muhammad, he said that even for Nukishan, even a man kissing a woman, even a man looking at a woman, is a decree from Allah. And by the way, there is an idiot. He said in the in the comment that I don't show the, the show. Ask Christian Prince to show you the book. So what we are doing all this time, all those years, I'm doing what? Tell him to tell you the name of the book. Tell him to tell you the name of the hadith, the book, the, the number of the hadith. So all those years, we are showing nothing in the screen except the name of the book, the hadith, the reference, and your Muslim website, and even we post it in the chat. And then the Abdul, because he is angry, you tell him, tell him to show you the name of the book. Read carefully. Zakir Naik, he says, you cannot blame Allah for your destiny, for an act you do. Allah is just predicting. He don't even know. I mean, the funny, the guy, he says, Allah, he knew Almul Ghaib. And then he gave an example that the teacher predict who will pass, who will fail. And by the way, this is not true. A teacher, he do not deal with the student by prediction. Because a student can pass any prediction in the exam if you work hard. You don't know what he is doing at home. So he come to the, maybe all the year he was lazy. And before the exam, he works so hard, study so hard. And then he will surprise you. So a teacher don't decide a student going to fail by prediction. He decide by what he see as an action from the student. After the student do the action, not before. Zakir Nayak, he said, Allah is not decreeing for you what you do, which is totally against the teaching of Muhammad, as you see. Even fornication is a decree from Allah. Verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. Do you see the word necessity must commit? It's not a choice to commit or not. Allah wrote for you, you, wanna, you are going to sleep with this woman and Allah wrote to this woman to sleep with this man. It's not a choice. And here we are talking about sin, not the good thing. We are talking about fornication, adultery. So why they lie to us in the TV and they say something totally different? But Zach and Naik in different video, he agreed that everything is a decree. Because this is what the video about. Destiny, can it be changed or not? I mean, look at this stupid idiot. In one video, he's saying that Allah, he just predict, and you can't blame Allah for action you did. And in this video, the title is Destiny, can it be changed or not? <laughs> and then in the video, he says, the only way to change your destiny is to make supplication to the one who made the destiny. Have you ever heard of something more funny and stupid than this? It's like those people, they are suffering from drugs. I'm talking about people like Zach and Naik. In one video, he is making destiny as if it's not exist. In the other video saying, no, there's no way to change your destiny except by making supplication to Allah. So he changed your destiny. And if your prayer is a destiny and your act is a destiny, so how that can be changed to this destiny? So Allah, he made me pray to him. 
it's a destiny Allah in the destiny decide to me I will say certain words and then that words who I am forced to say by Allah is going to change my destiny because I send it to Allah The Quran says in the chapter of the insan, which means the human, وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ or مَا يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ Nothing of the will you will, except what Allah will. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense anyway. As usual, nothing, many, nothing makes sense there. Have you ever seen anything make sense in this cult? Let us read the verse together. <clears throat> okay, hold on. As usual. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh. Let us show you some verses so we can laugh together. Where we will go, where we will go. Let us go to the chapter. Let us see this one. This one is good, but I want to like I want to show you something more clear. Okay. How Allah he forgive and how Allah he punish? That's up to him. It's up to him. It's not like about what you do. It's up to Allah. Allah he punish who he will. Allah forgive who he will. So there's no rule. And that is something Allah decided already before he created you. Who will he punish and who he will forgive. Uh, let us see. Let us see. Uh, all those verses, by the way, is about Allah will, but I want to show you the extreme stupid ones. Chapter 3, verse 129, Allah, he forgive whoever he want, he punish and torture whoever he want. It's it's not about really what you do. Because uh, uh, remember, it's, it is Allah decree for you. You are not really making a choice. Okay. Oh, oh, they're repeating the same thing.
All right. Who is the one? How how a person can be a straight person according to Islam, like a straight who who don't do commit sin? Is it something you choose or it is Allah's choice? The Quran says this is the choice of Allah, not your choice. Then the question is, if it's not me who choose, how I can be good or bad? So what make me good and what make me bad? It's Allah who make you bad and Allah who make you good. That's wonderful. Then why the hellfires exist? If the one who make me bad and the one who make me good is the God who you call him Allah, so Allah is the one should go to hell. Because because of him, this person is going to go to hell. Not because the man he did something deserved to go to hell. Because if I am forced to do something, and that is not of my choice then why I am being punished all those chapters in the front of us and the Quran is a joke read carefully with me and laugh and ye will not unless it be the will of Allah let us change the translation this guy is using uh, I don't know what kind of software to translate obviously all right and you will not you will not what is this is English now and you will not unless it be that Allah wills what okay change the translator you will not and let it's Allah it's Allah will go to different idiot hmm. but ye shall not will except as Allah wills any Muslim there in the bushes can tell us how we can function with this so now I went live on air to expose Allah the Quran saying it is not your will, but it is the will of Allah to go online, expose me. Any Muslim in the bushes? Muhammad Wasim Iqbal, he's saying, Allah is the master of universe. What does this have to do with our topic? Okay, he's the master, he's, a, he's the chief of the kitchen. But based on this, if a man he will to rape a woman, it is not his will, it is the will of Allah. Tamara is saying the translator does not make sense, but the translator is struggling with the stupid Quran. The Quran, first of all, doesn't make sense. Therefore, the Muslim, they look like, you know, those translators, like a bunch of crazy people trying to fix it. We change the translator, see Shakir. Maybe Shakir, he can do better. And you do not please except that Allah please. What does this have to do with the pleasing now? Look at this idiot. We changed the translator. The whole meaning changed. Let us go to uh, uh, who? I don't know. Wahidani, Wahideen. Uh, uh, this is a human being. His name is Wahideen. Okay. But you cannot will unless God, the Lord of the universe, so will. Muslims help us. So when the Jews they come to kill Jesus, it was not their will according to the Quran, it was the will of Allah. Any Muslim? Uh, Mustafa, look, I know guys, Mustafa is saying that Allah is all-knowing. Well, how come your God, Allah, all-knowing, 
yet he did not know how the baby is created. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He said that the women, she have a sperm coming from her breast, from her, the top of her ribs, and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone. Allah is all knowing, brother. Allah is all knowing, but he said there's hail coming from mountains in heaven. This is the all knowing God. Allah is all knowing, but he claim that uh, uh, There is seven heaven, and the distance between them is 500 years. And Allah is holding the sky from falling in us. How, Badrar? Because there is pillars we cannot see. Allah is all-knowing, but he believe or he teach that the sky is held by a mountain called do you know what the name of the mountain? Qaf. And this mountain, we cannot see it because it's blue. And the color of the sky is coming from the blue mountain. This is the all-knowing God. <laughs> Allah is all-knowing. <laughs> I mean, shall I continue until next year? Telling you how, how much Allah he knew? Allah the all know when he taught his prophet that if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl and if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy this is the all knowing now who want to answer us about this you cannot will unless it is Allah will any Muslim Arabic challenge for Hamdi. I mean, you know those kids, all of them, they, they make a challenge for me, but nobody show up here, we go, I'm here, call me. The one who want to challenge a person, who don't make a video, says, I challenge you. The person he have an, a way to call him, he go almost every day on air, and he say, okay, who want to call me, call me, and you don't call, it's mean your challenge is a, is a, is a, is a, like, is a, like Allah, fake. It's a fake. And who is this potato? I never heard of this potato before. All of them, they make videos to challenge me. We challenge you, Christian Brands. All of them. But nobody called me. This is those videos they made them for the Muslim girls to show like I'm a hero, like you, you know, look at me. I'm challenging them because some plans, you see? I challenge Christian Prince, Christian Prince, he ran away from me. But I'm here. I'm live on air. Where are you? Now, who is the one going to answer us? Those Muslims who made video to challenge me, they are the same as Joe Biden. Do you know the thing? Do you know the thing? They have no answer for anything, and they will never dare even to get close to me. Do you know the thing? Any Muslim can answer us? Forget about those kids. Don't change my topic. There is no will you do except the will of Allah. Anything you do is the will of Allah. Right now I'm speaking about Allah because it's Allah will. I'm reading your text, Abdullah. Do you want to call me now? Abdullah, before we started, you said, can I debate you? I said, yes. Do you like to call me? Right? <clears throat> hey, folks, you don't try to change my topic. You are a coward like your prophet. We have a topic in the front of us on screen. They try their best to talk about anything except our topic. Very embarrassment to Islam. Notice with me, not a single Muslim he answered the question we are asking. Can you explain to me this verse in the Bible? Uh, folks, see, let your prophet explain it to you just to show you how stupid what you are saying. If I show you that your prophet says, No pastor shall enter assembly of the Lord. If I show you that, 
if I show you your prophet saying that the, the, the bastards are the, 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 the wood of the hellfire, what you will do? Then you will change the topic. <laughs> and by the way, your stupid prophet, he's spoken about bastard, but he is a bastard. He is born four years after his father's death. I mean, have you ever heard of a child he is born four years after his father's death? This is why the Muslims believe that a Muslim woman, she can give birth even after 10 years. And I can show you the reference immediately. You'd like to call me? There is a woman, she was accused of fornication. I think it was in Nigeria, Sudan, I think, Sudan maybe. In Africa, I don't know which country. But it was in the news. And then the lawyers, they got the judge busted. He showed him from the hadith that a Muslim woman, she can deliver a child even after two years of her husband's death. Because the woman, she is going to deliver a son soon or a baby. But her husband, he died two years ago. So obviously she is sleeping around. By showing them the reference from the hadith, the judge he have to free her because it must be true. Who dare to say the prophet is crazy? Are you there? Or do you want to change the topic now? Is it true your prophet was born four years after his father's death? If I search right now, you see they are trying to change our topic. It's okay. I mean, we are spanking Muhammad wherever we go. You know, Christian Prince, when he is driving his car, he is driving and throwing garbage from the window. Where? In the yard of Allah. So it doesn't matter what I'm throwing, really. It's going to be the garbage of Muhammad. Let me show you how we laugh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. This is your shake on the TV. Explaining brother to us, brother and sisters. Look, look, look. This is the TV of Saudi Arabia. Official TV. Alhamdulillah. He's explaining to us, and look at the music, the background, the holy, the holy God. Allahu Akbar. It's possible for us in Islam that a woman, she can carry a child even for four years. <laughs> All of this just to cover the problem of Muhammad. He is born four years after his father's death. Their prophet said so. Their prophet said that to them. So this guy is not making things up. Are you saying the prophet is lying? I'm and reported from Malik that the woman she can carry a child for four years, which means she is not delivering the child, but he is there since the four years ago. <laughs> now we go back to the topic. If you have a wife and you divorce her 10 years ago and you receive a call from her, she's saying to you, I am in the hospital, come and pay for the bill of your son. Don't be surprised, she's a Muslim. She can do that. 10 years after. Abdullah, I am not reading your text. What text do you did? Why you don't call me in Pal Talk? Do you want to open Pal Talk for you? 
You keep saying to me to read my text, read my text, read my text. Why you don't call me? Do you want to call me? Then not only we will see your text, we will hear you, Mr. Hero. Christian Prince, you don't read my text. Because you are a mosquito. I can't see you. Where are you? Hmm. <sighs> uh, Christian Prince, here we go, Foxy. Now she is focusing in the in the topic. Finally, Al Insan, chapter seventy six, verse number three. Indeed, we guided him the way. Be he grateful, or be ungrateful. The how stupid you are! You you just said we guided him. So where is the free will? Guys, I mean, what's wrong with those people? Let us go to the verse, and then you will see the same verse you quote for me is showing the opposite. Let us put the verse on the screen. And you know what? If this is a free will, so what we will do with that chapter of attack, we are saying nothing you will except what Allah will. I mean, how clear we can make it. But at least, finally, Foxy, uh, she is not trying to go out of the topic. Okay, 76. Here we go. This is 76. We created the man from a drop of mingling fluid so that we might try him and we gave him hearing and sight. Okay, hold on. Who is the one who gave him hearing and sight? Allah. Who is the one who blocked the human being hearing and sight? Allah. Let us see. Chapter 2, verse number 7. Allah sealed their heart and their eyes, and over their eyes there is a covering. They will have a terrible punishment. Okay, so one chapter saying Allah, I saying I gave him sight, I gave them hearing, and the other chapter saying, well, I sealed their heart, I sealed their eyes, I sealed their ears. So there's no free will. Because if people, they have a free will, then you don't seal their ears so they cannot hear, and you don't seal their eyes so they cannot see, and you don't seal their heart so they cannot believe the verse is so clear and if Allah is the one who sealed their heart and their ears and their eyes so what exactly the job of the devil the devil is Allah then he says so we showed him the way whether he will be grateful or ungrateful okay Allah he showed him the way who To the human that's wonderful but read carefully with me just to show you that Islam is a stupid cult because the Quran says Allah guide who he will and Allah is guide who he will read carefully are you going to guide who Allah misguide? <laughs> and remember, this is, your this is your translation. Who would you be divided into two parties about the hypocrite? Allah has upset them for their evil deed. Would you guide those whom Allah has thrown away? Look at the first translation. Does it say that? No. Allah is saying, Are you going to guide those who Allah deceive? Change the translator. Just to show you how the Quran changed by changing the translator. Shakir. Read carefully. Do you wish to guide him who has Allah cause to err? Do you see it? Who is the one who caused you to be misguided? Allah. 
the Muslim translation, translating the word Allah, which Allah deceived, into err. Okay, so if I do an, a misguidedness act, well, Allah is the one who caused me to, to do it. The verse in the front of you. Muslims, who is the one who caused that person who Allah calls it, calling him hypocrite? Who is the one who caused him to be bad? The verse in the front of you, I'm waiting for an answer. Any Muslim want to give us an answer? Who is the one who caused him to be misguided and deceived, not err as the translation is saying? Any Muslim can tell us? <clears throat> what happened to the Muslims? They are searching Google now. If you like, we can change the translator for you. No problem. Maybe the tra maybe new translation will give us a new Quran. Uh, let us see Biktar, the crazy Biktar. Hmm. Okay. Seek you, guide him who Allah sent astray. He whom Allah sent astray, nobody can find a road for him. You cannot guide him. <laughs> and the funny is, Allah, he sent you astray. Okay, what astray mean? Misleaded you? Any Muslim? Let us see more verses. Read and love. Uh, let us see which one we will show you. Read this one and laugh with me. Whoever is, whoms ever Allah will to guide, he expanded his bosom. Hey Abdullah, are you there? How big your bosom? Seven thirty, a group he guided, and a group deserve error. What deserve error? The verse saying he caused him to be misguided. Don't lie. People, does it say there that Allah caused him to be misguided, or Allah, or they deserve to be error? Why you are lying? It says there. Are you going to guide those who Allah? deceive and here in this verse in the front of us chapter 6 verse 125 it says that the one who Allah want to guide this is the will of Allah he expanded his bosom and the one who don't want to guide he made his uh, bosom close and narrow it's Allah decision not your decision it's not you decide to be guided or not And are you saying that your prophet is saying a lie? Because it's your prophet who said that those who say there's a free will, they are liars. They are not Muslims. This is your prophet's statement. Let us see what hadith we can show you. I have tons of hadith. Read carefully. Just to show you that the Muslim who try to defend, they put themselves really in trouble because they forgot that their prophet, he is a person, he is a talking machine, he don't keep his mouth shut, and the more he talk, the more he do poo, poo Read carefully. It's not you what you vote to do, it's what Allah decided to you. Allah actually, Prophet said, that the one who deny 
destiny of Allah, the, who believe in the free will, uh, free will, don't talk to them. Umar, Umar reported that the Prophet said, don't sit with those who believe in a free will. But folks, see, she is saying there's a free will. Hey, folks, are you there? According to your prophet, you are a fraud. <laughs> Folks, see how, how you feel now. Honest, be honest. Be honest with me. How do you feel now? Your prophet said with the clear words, "Don't sit with those who believe in a free will." You saying, no, we have a free will. We can go back to your text previously, and you said that too again. You said, no, we have a free will. Are you there, Foxy? Are you still alive? Anyone? The Prophet, he forbid you to sit with those who believe in a free will, and he accused them to be kuffar. This woman, Foxy, she is a kafir, according to the Prophet of Allah. I feel sorry for sorry for you, Foxy. You are going to go to hell. You will not get seventy-two men lined up to do boom boom with you. All your lust and desire is gone. I invite you to repent to Allah, so you can get uh, you know the men. Uh, Abdullah, no, I saw your text saying that Allah, he made Muhammad a messenger. I mean, this is the most stupid statement. Muhammad, he made a verse saying, Allah, he said, I am a messenger. Okay, I can make one now. How Muhammad is a messenger for Allah? Is Muhammad never spoke to Allah? If we ask the Muslims in the Quran, is there anywhere in the Quran it says that Allah He sent Jibreel to Moses? They say no. Did Allah send Jibreel to Abraham? No. To Jacob? No. To Isaac? No. To Isa? No. So all the prophets, the Muslim prophet, Jibreel never come to them to deliver Quran or Torah. Only Muhammad. Why Allah don't want to talk to Muhammad? Why Muhammad? Because he smells bad, you don't take a shower? Any Muslim can tell me why? So Allah, he sent his revelation directly to Musa. Hey Musa, tell them, tell them. I give you revelation, Musa. Hey Allah, how are you? I am Allah, how are you doing? I am Musa Khabibi, how are you? Okay. This is Musa speaking to Allah. How about Abraham? Tararam, tararam. Who is there? This is Abraham. Hey Abraham, I am Allah. How are you doing? How is your wife Sarah? How oh, she is doing fine. She is feeding the goat. Okay, I have delivery for you. Okay, this is Abraham. Allah speak to Isaac. Tararam, tararam, tararam. Habibi, this is Isaac who is with me. If you are not a Jewish, don't call me. I am Allah Isaac. Oh Allah, how are you? You did not call me since last night. So why Allah only with Muhammad he sent Jibreel? Why? Because Muhammad was so dirty, he didn't want to sh shake hands with him. Allah speak to all the angels, I mean to all the prophet except Muhammad. And Muhammad is his favorite. I mean, do you see how much his favorite is? Oh boy. Going back to the topic. Those who deny destiny don't sit with them and don't talk to them. What we will do? Uh, hey man, this is Daif. Who want to say that? This is Daif.
What happened? So there's no free will. What else? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? You know, Zakir Naik, he said, let us go back to Zakir Naik to refresh your memory. I like this guy, so honestly. I mean, some people, they say to me, well, like, you know, you are uh, focusing, in, because he's fun. I mean, I cannot find a better comedy than this person, to be honest with you. Look at him. Look how cute he is. Look how much he is in harmony with Islam. Look, 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 look. His lips is coming out so excited. Tell us more, Zakir Naik. Tell us more how we can change our destiny, brother. That if Allah has written the destiny and the destiny cannot be changed, then why should we do dua? There's a hadith of a beloved prophet mentioned in Ibn Majah, world number one, hadith number 90, that destiny cannot be changed except by supplication, except by dua. So the only thing that will change the destiny is the dua. Mm -hmm. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Rod, chapter number 13, verse number 39, mm. that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can erase or confirm whatever he pleases from the mother of the books. See, it's in the mother of the books. But Allah can cheat. Allah can change your grade. Allah has a book. Hey, Christian Prince book. This is a Christian Prince in the day of etc. He did this. Okay, I will take it for you, Christian Prince. Are you happy now? What the heck is that? But this guy, he's for God. You see those people, they claim to be scholars. Isn't it the Quran says that you pray, you say, except nothing except what Allah will? وَمَا يَذُكُرُونَ إِلَّا مَا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ Anything. Or يَذَكَّرُونَ Anything you say. Let me see the verse. I did not read it for long. <clears throat> hmm. Actually, it should be uh, here. <sighs> Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Uh, okay, before we go to that verse, let us read this one here. To every one of you who wishes to treat to, to treat the straight path, but you cannot will it unless Allah, the Lord of the universe, so will it. Do you see it? So, if you want to be a good person, can you be a good person? The answer, no. Unless this is Allah will. Unless it is Allah will. Let us see here. <clears throat> Oh boy. If we go to this uh, verse, let us see here. Uh, okay. This is a chapter 80, and then let us go to Al Mudathir.
I mean, it's a stupid religion. What you can do? Endless stupidity. Uh. <clears throat> I'm trying to, you know, I remember the verse, but I don't remember which, uh, I forgot which chapter it is. I'm trying just to remember. Mm. Because I did not use it for long. I think it is in Mudathar. Maybe. Let me check it out first in Arabic. <coughs> Yeah, I was right actually. Okay. Let us go here. And then we go here. Read carefully. Translation is not clear here. Let us change the translation. I think all the Muslims, when they translate the Quran, they are using English, you know, translation from the dictionary, not a, a proper language which is used in the street. Uh, because the you know, translation making making it even more stupid and they will not mind unless Allah please okay what what they will not mind change the translator let us see Hilali and Khan They will not receive a domination unless Allah wills. This is this translation. Any Muslim agree with it? So you will notice that Islam is focusing in one thing. That at the end of the day, it's not what you do, it's what Allah will is. Allah forgive you not because you deserve, forgi you deserve forgiveness, it is because Allah, he decided to do so. It's not your choice. Even your trouble, even your prayer, even your statement, it is Allah's choice. Yesterday we showed you the story of Adam, how Allah he made Adam commit sin, and Allah he forced Adam to do sin. It was not a free will of Adam. That means all the story in the Quran is a fabrication, because if Allah he said to Adam in the Quran, go and live here and don't eat from this tree, and then Adam he did he ate from that tree. And that was a decree from Allah. And Eve, she betrayed her husband, according to Muhammad, as a decree of Allah. So Adam and Eve, they commit no sin. And as you see here, Muhammad is blaming Eve for what happened to Adam, showing the stupidity of this prophet, because how you say it was a decree, and then you play or you blame Eve 
either it was a decree that's mean if she is just part of a theater a movie a scenario and she did her part and Adam he did his part too when Muhammad he said none among you attain salvation purely because of his deed except by Allah mercy So what a prayer for why Muhammad he says the one who say Allah 100 time Allah forgive his sin the one who touched the black stone and kiss it Allah erase his sin or the black stone erase his sin the one who do jihad Allah will make him a green bird this is totally different it is not what you do even Muhammad himself none of you and by the way there's a Muhammad and he says to me he said that the Christian friends don't speak Arabic let me find you the comment hold on uh, let us see where is this guy I'm trying to find <coughs> his comment. All right. It's in Arabic. And the funny, this guy, he's saying that I use Google uh, uh, translation to, uh, I don't speak Arabic. أتمنى أن تتكلم العربية بالفعل ولا تستخدم مترجم جوجل. He's saying I wish that you speak Arabic really and not to use Google if you can. Saying I cannot speak Arabic. Okay. If you cannot read Arabic, you can see the hadith and you can see the translation. Actually, I believe that you are the one using Google translation. This is not a good Arabic. لأن الترجمة من العربية إلى الإنجليزية في بعض الأحيان غير منطقية وهذا يعمل بالعكس. Okay. So and then look what he says. When the when the hadith says ولا أحد منكم. I mean uh, uh, Omar. When I say when I use the word potato, do you feel insulted? Okay. ولا أحد من... لا أحد منكم none of you none of you will attain salvation this is none of you what does have to do with your salvation alone it says none of you you people <laughs> he's saying to me can you tell me what is it... does it say in the hadith that the hadith says none of you yes it says none of you you people You were challenging, well, I was challenging you to find me where in the hadith it says that your, your deed alone will not be enough for your salvation. You must have said the word alone. Alone is for the deed, you idiot, not for the people. Here, la ahada minkum, obviously you don't speak Arabic, is none of you people. And it's in front of you on the screen. Let me show you, idiot. This is your translation. I mean, I wish I can not, I don't use the word idiot, but they have to. None amongst you, do you see it? This is la ahada minkum, you idiot. Amongst you, you, you. So none of you people would attain salvation this is the Muslim translation purely because of his deed in Arabic it doesn't say that purely it says because of his deeds and this is the Arabic in the front of us yeah. let us show everybody
قال لن يجي أحدكم من منكم وعمله none of you will be saved by his deeds there is no purely there is no alone there is nothing of this garbage and if we go up the same hadith again none you none of you will be saved by his action because you have no action it's all is a decree so how your action can save you if it's a decree by Allah anyway regardless if it's bad or, or good they said to him even you Allah messenger he says even me unless Allah cover me with his mercy even Muhammad is not sure unless unless which is maybe And then he says to him, but act correctly, okay? Why do you want to act correctly? You just told me that my act is not the reason to be saved, is not the reason to go to hell. And this is including Muhammad himself. Do you see it? So why you add to the translation, none of you, your deed alone, why you add it? It's not there. As you see, this is your Muslim translation. And they say to you, oh, he don't show the hadith number. He don't show the book. No, I'm scrolling up and down. I'm showing everything. This is Al-Bukhari. Look how clear this one is. Allah Messenger said, the deeds of any one of you will not save you from hellfire between two brackets. That's it, there's no alone, there's the, none of you, no exception. Even you prophet, even me. And yet they try to deny it and they try to reject it. Why? Because it's very painful. This is destroy anything Islam stands for. Everything the Muslim they say to people is a lie. Convert to Islam, you will be saved, brother. So pray to Allah, Allah will take you to heaven. This is a lie. Because converting to Islam is a good deed, supposedly. Praying to Allah is a good deed. Doing jihad is a good deed. But Muhammad, he just said, all of this is rubbish. None of it will count none of it will count am I lying Muslims where are you Foxy what we will do with Muhammad now maybe you understand Islam better than Allah Prophet maybe Muhammad is an idiot and you Muslims are smarter maybe the founder of Islam he don't understand the concept of Islam and you Muslim you understand it better who want to help us I mean, you Muslims are going so, you know, yesterday there's a guy, his name is Karim, if you remember, he called me and we reached the point that he said that the Holy Spirit is not a spirit. Can you believe it? I mean, in order to defend their stupid prophet, they went so far to the point he says that the Holy Spirit is not a spirit. So why you call it spirit if it's a spirit? Uh, the Holy Spirit is not spirit, okay? He idiot. So if the spirit, if the name of the person we are talking about is Holy Spirit, how his name is Holy Spirit, yet he is not spirit. But because he have to find a solution to defend Muhammad, so they go crazy. They go in denial. I know he's here as a potato. Do you want to call me Kareem? I like to receive call from him, by the way, it's just for entertaining purpose. Honestly, I don't mind. Like, yes, I, I, I know I will lose my patient with him because he's an idiot. But still, it's fun. 
And then at the end of the day, people will laugh. The Holy Spirit is not a spirit. And then you say to him, hey, okay, Kareem, according to who? Like, can you name for me a scholar? He agree with you? You do hold. I don't want a scholar. Okay, uh, what about I show you a scholar? Like, uh, it's okay, show me a scholar. I show him a scholar. You say, uh, Jalalain, and this is the official website, the government of Jordan. Oh, this is the government of Jordan are corrupt. The idiot. This is the book of Jalalain. Who care about the I don't talk about, I don't uh, politics. Talk. What politics? The Holy Spirit is not a spirit. So it's what? Okay, we have Abdullah. <coughs> okay. Guys, uh, Abdullah, he asked me to call him. And look what he said to me in the chat. I called him. He did not answer. He rejected the call. Hey bastard, call me, kid. You are a coward like your God using voice changer. <laughs> I'm using voice changer. <laughs> and the funny, they are talking about bastard. The people who follow a prophet who burn, his, was born four years after his father's death. I mean, they're supposed to be father. And I'm using voice changer. Guys, did you notice that my voice changed? Hello. It's me you're looking for. We Muslims do not believe that our deed alone will take us to uh, to uh, paradise uh, foxy foxy when you say we Muslims what do you mean we Muslims is it up to you are you are you taking drugs when you say we Muslims you have to show me something against what your prophet said something more uh, more powerful so when you say to me we Muslims and then your prophet he says don't sit with those who believe in free will don't talk to them. We Muslims do not believe that our deed alone will take us to our to paradise. Deed are considered as ob uh, obedience to our Lord. Are you blind? Are you deaf? You're a prophet, he said, that your deed have nothing to do with your salvation. So why you are adding the word alone? What's wrong with you? When you say we don't believe that our deeds alone, that's mean your deed does count. You just said it's not alone, so you need more help. So what we will do with what your prophet said? We dump it in the garbage? Is your prophet is lying? And you know better Islam what it is? Here we go, your prophet saying, the deed of any of you will not save him. He did not say the deed alone. I mean, you are insulting your prophet because now you are saying something against your prophet. If you are a prophet, he is not using the word alone. It's mean did have no place. <clears throat> What do you say? Why well, are you writing the word alone? Okay, Karim, you will call me. Hey, hold on, let me see. <coughs> are you online? Karim. Okay, come online, Karim, so I can text you. <clears throat> I 
Many Muslims would like to call us. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Anyone? Are you online, Karim? So I will call you. It says you are offline. Look what this Muslim here, he said to us. Let us answer some comment and tell Cuckoo call us. Your copy-paste education is not going to help you when you face a real scholar with deep knowledge of Islamic and Christian teaching. I am the one who will volunteer to dismantle your theology. Believe that it is, is based on all the church corruption that lasted 2,000 years without any logical evidence. 2,000 years without logical evidence. Islam stand by logical evidence. Muhammad, he went to the moon, the top of the seven eleven heaven. No witnesses, nobody. It's logical. The sperm coming from the backbone, logical. The penis will be in this palm tree, logical. Muslims talk about logic. I mean, they are the one who created logic, actually. According to, I mean, history. Islam, all of it is about logic. Allah have a tablet where he write for you by his pen your destiny. Logical. Hmm. Isn't it logical? It is. Another Muslim, he says, he was quoting for us from the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, Verse number two, will gather all nations to Jerusalem to fight against again against it. The city will be captured and the horse will etc. and women will be raped. Actually, I advise all the Christians to open Zechariah chapter 14. Amazing prophecies. All nations gather to fight Israel. This is true. Jewish women being captured and raped, this is true. Jewish people being tortured, this is true. And then Jewish people being victorious, and this is true. And even your crazy Quran, he copied from the Old Testament, where it says that God will gather the children of Israel, the same as the chicken collected her chick. If we go in your Quran, you idiot. This is the problem with those people. They are too small. They don't know what their religion is about. Your Quran copy the Old Testament, speaking and prophesying that the children of Israel, they will come back to Israel. And they will be gathered from around the world. And then Jesus Christ will come. Do you see it? This is taken from the Old Testament. It's not a prophecy of Muhammad. What happened to you, Karim? Are you still alive? So when we talk about the copy-paste, it's you Muslims who copy-paste from us. <clears throat> why uh, where Allah does make us do sin okay I will show you where Allah guys uh, this is a good question hold on <clears throat> Foxy 
let us me and you make a deal if I show you where Allah he says he make you do sin what is next the reason I'm asking you because I want to know if you already here as a as a decent person looking for a truth or debating about the truth or you are just a person playing games so in front of everybody if I show you with the clear evidence that Allah he make you do commit sin what you will do what is next I'm waiting for you <clears throat> did she say anything foxy if I show you that Allah is the one who make you commit sin. Oh, you like to see it only in the Quran. Guys, she like to see it only in the Quran. Why your prophet you don't count? Did you did you see like they're trying to be smart? I like to see it in the Quran. I like to see it in the Quran. What's wrong with your prophet? There's something wrong with him? You don't trust your prophet no more? All right. Let us see it from the Quran. And now we will show her from the Quran and he will she say, I don't agree with the Quran. Show me something else. Why people they fight over religion? Is that the will of the people or the will of Allah? It is the will of Allah. But they differed, some of them believing and some of them they disbelieve. And if Allah so willed it, they would not have fought one another. But Allah, he does what he will. Do you see it? So why people they are killing each other? It is the will of Allah. What you will say now? I don't accept it. Why people they kill each other about religion? Is it Allah will or the will of the people? And you are changing the topic now, see? You are jumping like a monkey. Here we go. We are putting you in the corner. Can you explain to me Psalm 58? Cowards. Right? Coward. First of all, you see, when, when, when the Muslims, they start to quote for us something from the Bible, you don't even know you are talking about who. In the Bible, there is a person who is speaking about the wicked, and there is God who is speaking about the wicked. Do you know the book of Psalm is written by who, and who is talking? You don't know. This is why you say foolishness. This is what Muhammad and they do. Why people they fight each other? Is that Allah will or your will? It is Allah will. If not Allah will, they cannot do it. How we can answer the Quran? Can you read for me chapter? Can you read for me Psalm? That's the answer? Yeah, because it's embarrassing. We know we have to change the topic. There's a person making a prayer to God. Saying this person is wicked since he was born. Why he's saying that? He did 
David, why are you all saying that? <laughs> hey, David, what's wrong with you? Crazy people. Your heart is full of evil. Those kings of the world. Since you're a child, you'll be all liars. This is not even God talking. It's a poet, it's a, it's a, it's a song. Speaking about the evil people who they are doing evil all their life. But we have your God who he said that Allah he made your wickedness when you are in the backbone of your father. Not David saying, not Christian Prince saying, your God saying. Not a poetry, not a song, not a meditation. Your God. So you keep jumping like a monkey. So why people, they kill each other over religion? Allah, he caused them to kill each other. Let's continue. Are we done? We are not done. Foxy, she said, she want to see it from the Quran. Correct? In the Quran, the Muslim, they say that the pagan, they used to kill their babies. The pagan, they are pagan. Why? Because Allah will that they will be pagan. Read with me. Had Allah willed, they had not been idolaters. Do you see it? Are you there, Foxy? Why people, they are worshiping idol? It's the will of Allah. You are not a keeper for them. It's Allah will. You are not even responsible for them. It was Allah will. Because if it's not Allah will, they will not be worshiping idols. Yes, I'm serious. I'm quoting for you. Look at this, guys. Are you serious? Are you quoting for me? Chapter 253, 253? Yeah, I'm quoting for you. Chapter 6, verse 137. Why the Arab they killed their children? Which absolutely a lie, by the way. But let us see why. Thus have they, so called partner with Allah, made the killing of their children to seem fair into them, into many of the idolaters, that they may ruin them and make their faith obscure of them. Had Allah willed, they had not done it. Do you see it? If you don't like this translation, are you going to say to me, are you serious? Are you quoting for me chapter 6, 137? Yes, I'm quoting it. Why they are killing their babies? It is Allah will. Change the translator if you don't like this one. This is Yusuf Ali. Okay. Even so, the eyes of the most of pagans, uh, their partners made alluring the slaughter of their children in order to lead them to their own uh, destruction. Mm -hmm. Okay, who is the one who made that thing beautiful for them so they would destroy themselves? Let us see. And cause confusion in their religion. If Allah had willed, they would not have done so, but leave alone them on their innovation. Had Allah willed, you idiot, he's saying, had Allah willed, they will not do it. <laughs> had Allah willed, if Allah will is not to do it, they will not do it. So this is Allah will. <laughs> Shall we read the interpretation? 
do you agree to why you don't call me foxy and i will open the interpretation for you and everybody will read with you guys is that fair is that fair in the front of you if this woman she dared to call me i will open the interpretation for the verse i will have no comment nothing more nothing less except what the interpretation says what do you say or now the interpretation is not good <clears throat> is it Allah will to do so or it is their will Hmm. Any Muslim? And you know, the reason, by the way, she is saying, show me from the Quran, because she can play as she wish. She don't want interpretation because the interpretation will get her busted. She don't want even her prophet to explain the verses because if her prophet explained the verses, she will get busted. Isn't it us? We just showed you that even sexual activities in Islam is a destiny. What her challenge was? Show me where it says that Allah he for us force us to do sin. Correct? Well, isn't it Muhammad he said? that you do fornication because it is Allah destiny for you? Is that sin or not? Who is the one who decide how much fornication you will do? This is why this evil person said, show me from the Quran. Why you don't say the same to your prophet? Show me from the Quran. Verily, Allah has the fix of very portion of adultery. So now, if I start quoting for you verse after verse after verse, you say it doesn't say that. It doesn't mean that. Then I'm showing you what your prophet explaining about those verses. You say he didn't say that. Oh, you will say I don't accept that. But this is Sahih. Allah has the fixed of a very the very portion of adultery is adultery sin you said can you show me where it says Allah force sin on us how much sin you want you know what let us say for the sake of argument what you are saying is true guys look at this those verses is against this it is not will of Allah that's mean your prophet is a stupid if what you are saying is true that's mean Allah prophet is a donkey because if you are a prophet saying Allah he wrote for you the fornication and how much fornication you will do and you say no it is not the will of Allah that's mean your prophet is a liar and he's a fraud so which one And the boy is your father. Still, he is swimming in your belly. Do you see how they, they insult even their prophet? Because it is their prophet who is saying that even fornication is a destiny by Allah. A Muslim woman, she called the Sheikh. She said, I became old and I'm afraid nobody will marry me. He said, daughter, don't worry. The prophet, he says, it is written over your vagina, the names of those who will do nikah to you. Do you want to show you the hadith? It's written over her vagina. Foxy, can you give us the names? Can you make a copy of it and post it in the internet? It is written on the vagina, the name of Nakihu, Maktubun ala kulli farjin ismu Nakihihi. Do you want to show you the hadith?
Allah, he wrote his destiny everywhere, even over vagina. I can even play the video for you from YouTube. So when you say this is not what the Quran is saying, you are insulting your prophet and you are showing the Christians and non-Christians that Islam is a messed up cult. A woman, her name is Foxy, is correcting what Muhammad is saying. Be my witness. Muhammad is a donkey. She is a smart. Muhammad do not know. She know. And the funny is that Muhammad, he says that women are half a brain. Yet she is proving that she is smarter than the prophet, proving that Muhammad is the half a brain, not her. Thank you, Foxy. Wrong again. The hadith is not talking about adultery. It is a strict sense. It is talking about adultery of the eye, adultery of the tongue. Guys, you tell me have patience, right? Let us see how many people will laugh at you. Guys, look, look what she said. Wrong again. This hadith is not talking about adultery, you stupid. It's in the front of your eyes. Verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery, which a man will indulge in. And then he counts form of adultery. Starting, and you have to do it of necessity. Do you see the word adultery, you idiot? Do you see it or you don't? Verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery. What is adultery of Islam is? Having sex. And Muhammad, he count other form of adultery. But you have to do it of necessity. It's not a choice. Allah, he wrote that for you. He must, and which he of necessity must commit. It's a must to commit. The adultery of the eye. Listen carefully, stupid idiot. Adultery of the eye. Adultery of the lost look, the adultery of the tongue, the adultery of the speech, the adultery of the heart desire, and all those adultery is exposed by the vagina. Do you see it? And you are saying, I mean, look how many times the word adultery is there. She says it's not talking about adultery. Christian Prince, wrong again. This hadith is not talking about adultery. And look, the adultery is all over the hadith. I mean, every 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 two seconds there's a word adultery, and this this uh, hadith is not talking about adultery. Okay, look what? It's not talking about adultery. So your prophet he used the wrong word. Verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery. Who is the one who fixed the portion of adultery? Allah. To who? To each one of you. Which a man will indulge in. And which of necessity. When we show you the story of Adam, did Allah force Adam to commit sin or not? <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. <clears throat> when Musa says to Adam, because of you we are of heaven, and then Musa, he said to him, you idiot, you donkey, you stupid, you monkey, you potato. This is Adam the Muslim and Musa the Muslims. This is how they talk, you know, in heaven. Are you blaming me for something an action which Allah had written for me. What what your prophet saying? Are you blaming me? Do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my faith forty years before my creation? Do you see it? So can we blame Adam for his sin? You are a prophet said, so Adam confuted Moses and he repeat that three times as usual because he's a Trinity person. Do you see it? Uh, 
Nabil Ahmed, no, I have no manner. I, le I learned the manner from your prophet. Shall I say to you, go and buy the penis of your father, as your prophet said? Is that okay if I say that? Your prophet says that. Or maybe I shall say to your wife, go and uh, suck, you know, give your nipples to the strange man. And that will be a good manner. Or maybe I shall say to you, go and let your wife do muta. And that will be a good manner. I mean, look who is talking about good manner. People who follow a prophet sleeping with the children, ordering women to give their nipples to strange men to suckle it, doing muta for day or night or three night stand, kidnapping women or raping them even if the husbands are their friends, going to the house of his own son and he is spying at the wife from the curtain behind the curtain and she was almost naked and then he ordered his son to divorce her. They are talking about good manner. People who believe that in the heaven Allah will give them 80,000 little boys and they are so white and they will not bleed. People who believe that God is a pimp and he will provide them a lot of women and each time you have boom boom with them Allah fix their vagina and he make them virgin again and they speak about good manner. Look who is talking. People who believe in a prophet who taught them to beat their wives. That is a good manner. I mean, how good you can be a good husband. The best of the husband is the one who beat his wife without breaking his her bones. And they come here to give you a speech about good manner. Why you don't call me so we can read some of the good manner of your prophet together, Mr. Uh, whatever your name is. Do you like? Do you like me to show you the hadith where your prophet says, tell him to go and bite the penis of his father? I'm sure you will be so proud about it. Actually, I advise you to make a print in the top of your house. Big print. The prophet said, hadith, go and bite the penis of your... By the way, you can put it in the highway. I have an idea for the Muhammadan. Why you don't make a big banner in the highway in USA? The Prophet Muhammad said, go and buy the penis of your father. You can do that, especially in Hollywood. They are very open minded. And actually, a lot of perverted people, they will join the Prophet nightclub. Open a nightclub and call it bite the penis of your father as the prophet said i'm not adding a word i'm not cutting off a word what happened to this guy suddenly he's so quiet now hmm. hey, foxy you are the liar it's in the front of you adam he did not commit sin and your prophet he agree and get out of here, I don't want to see you no more. You see, I have, I have a limited patience for liars. You can lie, as, I, mean, I mean, it's in the front of you, you coward. Do you play me for an action which Allah had written in my fate? Christian Prince is lying. Christians, do you see Christian Prince is lying? I mean, you're stupid, even Adam, he, he was a victim of your God. The first sin in the, in, in the, in the world is nothing but a fraud even that is a fraud and the coward she says I'm lying I mean look at them this is Sahih al-Bukhari and this is your prophet agreeing with Adam that this is the correct answer you cannot blame Adam for the sin he did so Adam confuted Moses Adam confuted Moses and he repeated that three times because he's, he's a mentally ill person. He fought the Trinity, but he is a Trinitarian. Do you blame me? For what? For an action? Okay, who is the one who did action then? Adam is the one who did the action. But you cannot blame him for the action because this is an action Allah he wrote. Adam was just a tool. He's a victim. And yet those cowards, they say, Hey, Christian, do you see how he lie? <laughs> uh, 
I mean, can you believe it? Your prophet says those who say, those who believe in free will, don't sit with them, don't talk to them. Oh, you're a liar. Right? <laughs> it doesn't say that, CP. Don't sit with those who believe in free will and don't talk to them. Obviously, Muhammad, he believe in free will then, according to your logic. When a Muslim, he go to war and he kill. Is he the one is kidding or Allah? Allah. Read carefully. You kill them not, but Allah kill them. You throw not your arrow, but Allah throw the arrow. Do you see it? When a Muslim he go to war, he is not the one is kidding. It's Allah. You are just a tool. The real criminal is Allah. And they say to you, where it says that? It's in the front of you. If you don't like this stupid translation, we can change it for you. No problem. It is not ye who slew them, it was Allah. And when you throw, it's not you who throw, it's Allah. And here they are talking about the arrow, when you throw your arrow. Change the translator. All translation, by the way, is messed up. All Muslim translation is stupid. I don't know. I think they, all of them, they are using software. They don't even know Arabic. So you did not slay them, but Allah who slew them. And you did not submit when you submit to the enemy. It was Allah who submit. Do you see it? Actually, this one is more close to the than the rest. And the funny, even Muhammad, he said clearly, uh, shoot, shoot and gather together. Uh, uh, none of you will enter heaven by his work. I mean, look at the stupid idiot. He's encouraging him to go and shoot, and then he's saying to them, uh, you will not go to heaven by your work anyway. <laughs> Read carefully. Jabir reported God messenger saying, what do you do will not bring any of you into paradise or protect you from hell. Do you see it? Muslims, do you see it? So all the promises of the Quran is a lie. And we can show you tons of those hadith and all of them, they are sahih. This is sahih Muslim. And this is the hadith number. And the Muslims, they add again the word alone here, but there's no alone. The Arabic is so clear. لا يدخل أحدا منكم أمله الجنة ولا يجيره من النار إلا إلا برحمة الله except by the mercy of Allah. In the English, they added the word alone because a Muslim when he see this he will go crazy. So why I want to go and do jihad? This is the same hadith. None of you. And be happy. Be, guys, be happy. Okay, why we will be happy? None of you, his deed will make him enter paradise. And look here again, they add the word alone. But in Arabic, there is no alone. You see how they fabricate? 
Where is the word alone? Where we can find the word alone in the hadith in Arabic? Who is a Muslim want to show it to me? Coward liars. No shame. Look at this one. This is Al-Bukhari. Let us see if here they forgot to add the word alone to corrupt the story. Because until now, I don't see it. The Prophet says, Do good deed properly, sincerely and moderately. I receive good news because one's good deed will not make him enter paradise. <laughs> I mean, this guy is, a, is, an, is an hashish. He's saying to them, do good deed and be happy because your good deed will not make you go to paradise. Have you ever heard of a stupid story like this? I say to my people, do good deed and be happy because your good deed will not let you go to heaven. Well, if I'm a Muslim, I'll go crazy. So why you are saying to me, do good deed and be happy because you will not go to heaven by good deed. So how that make me happy? Any Muslim can explain? How we are, okay, read carefully. The prophet said, do good deed properly. Okay, that's wonderful. Sincerely, thank you very much. Moderately, that's wonderful. And receive good news, okay. Because, this is the good news now. Because one good deed will not make him enter paradise. The ones of you, his good deed will not make him enter paradise. They said, not even you, prophet. He said, not even me, unless Allah bestows his, his burden on me. Do you see it? Okay, Nabil Ahmad, no problem. We, we can show the whole hadith from the beginning to the end. Are you willing to call me Mr. Nabil? Here we go. We have the whole hadith in Arabic here. You see, in English, they are not showing you everything, but we have it, the story here. Nothing changed. Here we go. Your good deed will not save you. You are more than welcome to call me and read the whole. You can read the whole book for me if you want. Do you want to do that? Don't give me your excuses, give me the answer. You are trying to give me excuses, but the excuse is not working. Oh, they are not giving you the context of the hadith. Who care about the context, my friend? This is what is important. None of you will go to heaven because of his deeds. As simple as that. No problem, show me the two words. Go ahead. All the hadith in Arabic saying the same, that your deed will not attain you into heaven. All of them. Prove me wrong and show me the hadith which is saying the opposite. I can show you Quran saying the opposite. The Quran says, those who do good deeds, they will go to heaven and there's garden waiting for them and there's rivers underneath of them. That's Quran. Muhammad here is saying no. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Remember that this is very authentic. This is Al-Bukhari. So we cannot say that this is a lie. You must then call it authentic. Why you call it authentic? Because it's authentic. According to who? According to you. When your prophet, he said, Mr. Nabil, that Adam, he did his sin because it was the action which is written for him to do. 
What is your response for that? Did Adam choose to commit sin? Or Allah forced him to commit sin? Your prophet explained to us in details there is a debate between Moses and Adam. Moses says to Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. No, you don't get mercy by doing good. Let me show you that it's not true. Guys, look what uh, what uh, Nabil he said. Hmm. Let me show you again that you are wrong. And obviously, you know, I, I by the way, I feel sorry for those Muslims. They are trying to defend because Muhammad, he put them in a very, very bad corner. I mean, this is a stupid cult. So look what's happening to those poor Muslims. They are trying to defend the stupidity of their prophet. And desperately, they are trying to come with excuses, and those excuses is more horrible than the, 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 the event itself. Read carefully. Yeah, I believe that ultimately it's mercy of Allah, but we got mercy by doing good. Let us see if this is true. Is that fair, guys? Let us see if this is true or not. Okay. Nabil. If somebody is a child, he did not do good deed, he did not do bad deed. Where he will go? He's, a, he's, a, he's one day old and he is a son of a Muslim family and he died. Where he will go, Nabil? Do you know? <clears throat> I'm waiting for you. <coughs> A person, he is a child, he is one day old and he died, and he is a son of a Muslim family. Where he will go? You said the mercy, you deserve mercy because of the good deed you did. Okay, this is a child, he did not do good deed, he did not do bad deed. Where he will go? Okay, guys, be my witness. Nabil, he said, children go to Jannah. We don't believe in Jannah, but I agree with the meaning that yes children's they will go to heaven <coughs> children's will go to heaven okay that's wonderful guess what no you're a prophet he says they might go to hell Read carefully. A child, he is from the child of an Ansar. He died, he's an infant. And Aisha, she said, well, a happiness for this child, who is a bird from the birds of paradise, for he commit no sin and neither reach the age of sin to commit. Muhammad, he said to her, <laughs> Aisha, peer adventure, it may be the other otherwise. Do you see it? What otherwise? Aish is saying he will go to heaven. Muhammad saying it may be the otherwise. So the bill he said, yeah, you will go, the child will go to Jannah. <laughs> Are you there, Nabil, now? What we will do? Is it Sahih? Yes, it is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 2662. C. I mean, the C make it more heavy too. And we can show it to you from different books. This is Mutawatir Hadith. Very strong. And Nisa'i Sahih. Here we go. You see, Sahih. The same story. Aisha, one of the children of Al-Ansar who had died, and he was uh, uh, Muhammad, he came to do the funeral with Aisha, and then she said, there's a fortune for this uh, little bird, he will be a bird in the bird of paradise. He never did the evil, or reached the age of doing evil. He said, oh, it's better not saying some, anything, Aisha, Allah the Almighty Supreme created paradise for people of paradise. When they are in their father's backbone, 
and he created people for hell when they are in their father backbone but that's mean doing sin have nothing to do with going to paradise so sin or not sin have nothing to do with it this child he is a Muslim actually Muhammad he said every every child is born as a Muslim even me according to him I am an apostate based on this so every child is born as a Muslim and his family they make him apostate either make him Jew or Christians or etc so why this child will go to hell he is born of Al Ansar they are Muslims Muhammad prayed in the funeral because he's a Muslim you don't pray in a, someone is a Muslim in the funeral and he never commits sin and he never reached the age of sin so why he might go to hell because it's a destiny now let us say Kareem he just texted me <coughs> oh Kareem is away I did not answer you yesterday. Yusuf, what is your name in in uh, YouTube in Palto? When you go in Palto, try to give yourself the same name so we can know that it's you. <clears throat> I'm trying to I'm right I'm trying to call this guy who called me bastard. It's okay, no problem. I'm going to be upset from him. He's just a kid. But you see, he's rejecting my call. Hmm. Potato. What was your name, uh, Yusuf? What is your name? In Pal Talk, you said you text me. You want to text me now? Text me now and call me now. I will call you. Just text me. <clears throat> ah, this is Yusuf. Okay. <coughs> Answer me, Yusuf. Hey, Yusuf, answer. He did not answer. It says outgoing call cancelled. What happened, Yusuf? I will call you one more time. So what this is drama is about, call me, call me, I, you know. And now we call you, you're not answering. Huh. So all this drama for what? No, you don't, there's no need for update. It's, it's going through. It says now, it says now you are offline. Why you went offline? No, it doesn't say uh, anything about update. It says everything is fine and that's why I'm, I'm able to call you come online my friend it says here that you are offline you just went offline you see it it says you are offline 
I'm talking about your name in the corner, not the monkey. This is the monkey who was stoned according to the hadith. The female monkey. This is the boy who was sleeping with the female monkey. Come online, my friend. <coughs> and Kareem, he told me he's ready, and I called him, he, you know, he went away. Okay, well, uh, log off, exit pal talk, and come back. Let us see. See, I'm calling you. I don't know. Here we go. I'm calling you. My internet is not good. My friend, what is not good is Allah. It's Allah, he destiny for you that you will not call me. Eh, what we can do now? Now you blame the internet. No, my internet is fine. If my internet not uh, not fine, you will not see my broadcast. To broadcast, it take way more internet than making a call in Pal Talk. Yeah, so all this drama, call me, call me, was for nothing. Tomorrow, I have a very nice topic for you. I don't know, I should do it tomorrow or tomorrow is Sunday. Now this topic is dirty. It's about Allah, he will send. I don't want to, I don't want to tell you now. But the next topic is going to be hilarious. I promise you, all of you, you will die laughing. Literally way more than any time before very 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 <laughs> they call you Kareem yeah the hero Kareem here Kareem is here that's it yes Kareem is here forget about the rest <coughs> hey Christian Prince when you are going to be online you know those people in YouTube um, they don't know when I'm going to be online. <clears throat> I mean, in Pal in Pal Talk. You see, I use Pal, uh, Pal Talk for a long time, so there's many people they know me there, and I did not go in Pal Talk for long. So from time to time, I receive messages saying, "Where I can see your life." All right, let us see Kareem. Hey, Kareem, it says that you are away. <coughs> hey, Kareem, do you hear me? Yeah, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. So what happened since yesterday? Uh, is the Holy Spirit is a spirit or it's not? No, no, I, I already found the answer to that. Alhamdulillah, easy answer. Okay, what is the answer? Uh, verse 17, uh, 1785, mm. that should answer why I wasn't able to answer it, but the Quran answered it, of course. Okay, so what is the answer? Is the Holy Spirit is a spirit or it's not? Well, the Quran says that when you're asked about the soul, mm. You should know that the soul has been given limited knowledge for human, you know, for mankind. That's another question. So don't answer. What is the question? What is the answer? Is the Holy Spirit is a spirit or not? It it, it, it is a spirit. I because that's why it's named the spirit. Yeah. Ah, so yesterday you made me scream at you, get so upset from you, and you deny it. Because... No, I said it's not the spirit of God. No, I said it's Who not said the, the spirit, spirit of God. God. Allah don't, says don't Ruhi. Lie, don't lie. We Allah, not, we did not say, Allah said we did Ruhi. not say a spirit of God or not. We said, is the Holy Spirit a spirit? You said no. Okay, he's not the same spirit as the spirit. Okay. 
so all that he was screaming yesterday no it's not i'm telling you you're ignorant you do not know what are you talking about the holy spirit is not spirit go and get the video yesterday and now he's saying yes it is <laughs> I think he went and he asked his shake, his shake, he told me, you idiot, what are you doing? He told the guy that the Holy Spirit is not a spirit. It's like saying to him, the water is not water. Crazy people. Let us try to call him again. Okay, he's not answering now. Go. Any other, any other Muslim? Who is next? All of them, they are heroes. You know, if you go and see in the comment section, we challenge you to debate this guy. Why well, you don't call this guy? Why, well, okay, here we go. I'm here. We give me, text me, I will call you. Whoever you are. I don't care. You are shake. You are. Actually, I prefer to talk with people who have long beard. That's my favorite. Because you see, when you are a stupid kid, you can say whatever you want. We say to you, Allah have body part, you say, who says so? Huh, you are a kid, you can say whatever you want. But when you are a sheikh and you say something is going to be used against you. You know, we discover that there's a, the standard, the standard narrative has holes in it. And by the way, until now, they are trying to stitch it, those holes. The Muslims are trying to stitch those things. Until now, they could not really stop those holes. And as you see, Islam is full of holes. Those who believe in a free will, don't address them before they address you. Don't talk to them. Don't sit with them. Why? Because they believe in free will. Don't you Muslim, you say we are a slave of Allah. So how you are a slave and you have a free will? A slave, he don't have a free will. And a slave here is not coming like a metaphorically, no, literally. The Quran says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْإِنسَ والجن إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا oh, We created not the, the genie and the human, except to worship. <coughs> Exactly. Each time they try to fix it, they make it a blind. Any Muslim? Uh, uh, Karim, why you are in the chat? I thought you want to call me. I thought you want to talk to me. Now you both go back to the chat. <laughs> Guys, he proved the verse of the Quran right. <laughs> <laughs> he proved the verse in the Quran. <laughs> well, I prove that your stupid story in the Quran does not make sense. Allah, He ordered a Holy Spirit to bow down to a sinner man. Allah, He taught Adam all the names, and this is how He proved to the angels that He knew the unseen. <laughs> Look, I'm holding water in my hand. What is the name of my hotel Baal? Huh? You cannot tell me, right? That's because you are not God. I can tell you, that make me God. <laughs> what the brand of my water Baal? Do you know? You don't know. I know. That's make me God. I mean, have you ever heard of a genius God like this? So he called this water the pure water. Huh? And then he asks you, he put his hand over the sticker. He says, what is the name of this Baal? You say, I don't know, Allah. And then Allah, he leave his hand and he read the sticker says, pure water, that make him God. He, Allah, he proved to us that he's God. That's deep. That's very deep, brother. Extremely deep.
What happened, Kareem? What happened to the other Abdul? You see, when I receive a call in Skype, and the Muslim, like somebody, he is going to leave Islam, you know, uh, the Muslim, they start suddenly calling me, one after one. Why? Because they are trying to disturb the conversation. They don't want the guy to continue calling me. This is why I like Pal Talk more. In Pal Talk, I take a call, nobody can call me in the same time, that's it. I can decide in my setting when I can receive calls. In, 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 in Skype, no. One person call you, all the Muslim, when the Muslim calling me, they start calling in order to drop that call to disturb us. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? So, if not tomorrow, the day after, we will have a very extreme, don't miss it. You miss it, you are making a big mistake. I'm warning you. It's like missing to go to the coffee shop of Muhammad. And you imagine what, what is there, you know? The virgins, the belly dancers, uh, you know, uh, hashish. Everybody is relaxed. But there's one thing is not relaxing. Only one thing will not be relaxing. How can I say it to you, you know? I'm just trying to be polite. <clears throat> you know, Karim, as long as you are a Shia, do you like me to read for you that if you wear a black shoe, your penis will not function? And if you wear a yellow shoe, your penis will become like wee 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 wee. I mean, come on, you are a Shia. You have all the madness in the world. You know, if I if I open the books of Shia, I don't want to go there. But this guy remind me of them. <clears throat> Let us see. He's a Shia. He is from Lebanon. He knew what I'm talking about. He can deny that he is not Shia, but he admitted that his father is Shia. So, okay. <clears throat> oh boy. Because you know the Shia, they they say that the Muslim Sunni their books is crazy, is stupid, blah 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 blah. But the Shia their books is not really better. You know. Um, let us see. <clears throat> Even their library is down. I'm trying to open their website, their biggest library in the world. It's called ShiaOnlineLibrary.com. It's not working. See, it says the site cannot be reached. Because this is where I have all their books there. You know, I all, I know a lot of tons of hadith of the Shia, but it says the re, the, the the site uh, cannot be reached. I don't know why. Too many believers, maybe. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Colleen, he wouldn't answer him if I answer anything. Shia division is stupid. But isn't it Allah who divide you? <clears throat> who is the one who divide? The Shia and the Sunni. Isn't it Allah? <clears throat> Don't you believe in destiny? Karim, which one you support? The one who killed Uthman or the one who killed the grandsons of Muhammad? Which one is your leader? Shia are mad well Sunni is more mad you know if we go on right now let's hold on they can say whatever actually for me I believe Shia is more decent I mean they lie a lot yes but they are more decent than uh, Sunni than, than Sunni in many ways at least they say okay the Quran say uh, muta we do muta you know not like the Muslim Sunni they try to change the religion Uh, <clears throat> Let us see. I will show you something for entertainment. I mean, there's tons of videos, by the way, but I'm trying to find something. Acceptable to. To play because some of them, they are extreme ugly. Oh, this one is funny. Let us see this one. Take a 
Actually, I call them. I call this religion the the Rasur religion. You know, the Rasur, like boing, 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 boing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> and the funny they count for us. You know, if you ask the Muslim, they say those are Sufi. They are not Muslims. Okay, all of Turkey is Sufi. <laughs> Erdogan is Sufi. <laughs> Why you count them? Is it? Is it? This is in Hagia Sophia. You see, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are doing their madness in our church. You believe it? You spend the whole night doing ha 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 ha. This is religion. What is this? And is it this is Hagia Sophia or church? Look at the cowards. This is our church. They are doing this madness in the house of God, in our church. Look at this. All right. <clears throat> Take it easy, take it easy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He fell. Oh boy. Look, 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 look at this. <coughs> Beautiful. What happened? What happened? And by the way, not only Muslim, they have those crazy stuff. There's many, they call themselves a Christian, but they are cult. They do this crazy stuff too. You know, you will see some, you know, fraud churches. You know, they are church of Satan. They are not Christians. They are doing crazy, you know. So religion, religion is a great business. And the devil is waiting for you. The devil is waiting for you in the casino the devil is waiting whatever you like what do you like religion here we go he's there he can come to you even if you're a christian he can use a person who he claimed to be priest but he is the devil himself so don't think that all those things is exist only in the garbage of muhammad those things is exist between us as a christian so we have to be careful not to allow those people to deceive us all right now look at their behavior, what they are doing. Is that from God? What is this? <laughs> okay, we have Yusuf. 
he said he wanna call us, and I called him now. Hello. Hmm. Yusuf is a play is a playing for me uh, 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 Quran. <laughs> you make a video, huh? You make a video, you fucking Jew boy, huh? Did you say the F word and you are playing Quran? You are playing Quran and you are saying the F word to Allah? You make money out bothering the people, are you fucking Quran? Filthy coward, son of Muta. He said the F word and he is playing Quran. Do you believe it, how holy they are? You make a video, huh? You make a video, you F. You know, you F are you F in Allah playing Quran? Oh, you are playing Quran if you want to say the F word, you coward. You are the most stupid idiot. And yes, I make millions of videos and I will make thousands of books, just wait. You saw nothing yet. You see, actually, when the Muslims make me angry, I do more. When they threaten me, when they call me names, when they try to bully me, it doesn't work with me. It works in the opposite direction. Do you make video? I will make millions. Can you stop it? So you coward. You said to me, I'm Yusuf. I'm a nice guy. I want to talk, talk to you. And when we call you, the devil come from your mouth. The first word is the F word. What the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. If your prophet was a decent man, you will speak as a decent person. But you are a son of Muta, who is born of Muta, so why I am not surprised. Faithy like your prophet. We say, hello, Yusuf. How are you, Yusuf? Ah, Yusuf is playing Quran for me. I know right away that he is a stupid kid from the second he started playing Quran. He don't even he don't even know what he the Quran is saying. And you are showing too much respect to your God to the point you are saying the F word while the Quran is playing. This is what Muslims do. They play the name of Allah and they say the F word right away. Well, I think you said it in the right time, <clears throat> in the right place. And now everybody believes that Islam is a good religion after they listen to you. You proved it. Actually, you know what? Those people, they are, uh, uh, for me, they serve my purpose. They can show how filthy this cult is. I, for me, I believe that the one who, is, who tried to be a nice person, sweet, those are the dangerous one. They are the sneaky one, the snake, you know, the, the one who have like soft skin. This guy right away, he show you Islam is garbage. The other ones is the one you should be worried about, who try to fool you. I make videos, I laugh at your Allah, I make Muslims leave Islam, what you can do about it? Yeah, go. Do your best. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul want to say anything? Who, wanna, who is Abdul want to play Quran for us? If CP has no uh, so such mistakes in the Quran, why he cannot produce one? <laughs> Look who's talking, hey, uh, 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 Kareem. So until now, did you answer me which one Allah created first? The stars or the water? <laughs> guys look at this look at this idiot I spent two hours showing him and he ran away he did not <laughs> he cannot produce one everything in the Quran is an error and we showed you a clear one so now let us repeat the question which one Allah created first the stars or the water very simple to make it more simple which one Allah created first the mountains or the stars <laughs> answer what you will do you will never give an answer because the second you do people will find out the answer exposing Islam 
This is why you refuse to give, you know, try your best to run away. Have you ever heard of a god? He don't remember which one he created first. Why? He have a short memory. You know, a human being, like we get older, we start losing our memory. That is possible because a human is a human. Okay. But this is God. How God he forgot? So do you have an answer for me? Kareem, which one Allah created first? The mountains or the stars? Very simple. Why why Muslims is so hard for you to answer such an I mean it's a very easy question. Which one Allah created first? We have the Quran here. We go let's read the Quran. The Quran says it is he who created for you that all in the earth, and then he turned to the heaven and he made them seven heaven. So what this verse saying? Any Muslim can explain to us the verse? Which one Allah finished first? <laughs> the mountains finished first. Okay, uh, guys, Kareem, he gave us an answer. Be my witness, finally. Hey, Kareem, let me call you. Finally, Kareem, he gave us an answer. The mountains, Allah finished first before the scrub before the stars. Be, be my witness. Let us call Karim. Hey, Karim, why are you not taking my call? Come on, Karim, let me call you. Please let yeah, I want to talk to your majesty. Hello. So Karim, you said the mountains is created before the stars. Yeah, it says he it is who created for you all that is in the earth okay then he turned uh then turned he to he the heaven and fashioned it as seven heavens okay and he is uh, knowing of all things wonderful so now we, we finally me and you we come to an agreement that first the mountains are created before the stars correct yeah that's correct okay thank you People be my witness, Kareem. Thank you, Kareem, for this time. Like, finally, you give me an answer. Before you talk to me, you never give me an answer. Let us, so, let us see the different verse in the Quran. And now you read for me. Okay. Okay. Just give me the number so I can read with you. No problem. So if we go in the Quran... Uh, let us go here. All right. I want you to read for me. Uh, I will go to chapter 79. Do you hear me, uh, Karim? Yeah, chapter 79. Okay, chapter 79. And me and you, we are going to go and read uh, from verse number 27. And whatever follow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> 27. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and uh, English or Arabic? You read in any way. What, what translation you are going to read it from? Sahih International, like last time? This is uh, Mustafa Khattab, the clear Quran. Mustafa Khattab, let me find it. Hold on. Okay, here we go. I found it. Okay, go ahead. All right. Which is harder to create? This is a 2927, uh, 7927. Okay. Which is harder to create? Okay. You or the sky? He built it. Hmm. 28. Raising it high and forming it flawlessly. Mm hmm. He dimmed, he dimmed its night and brought forth its daylight. Okay. Bringing forth, did I skip one? Hmm. Okay. As for the earth, he spread it out as well. Hmm. Okay. So, so here he spread it. Okay. And in here, Arabic, in Arabic, it says, Okay. And now we're at 30. 
32 okay or isn't it up to 32 right all right Wajibala arsaha, and here the mountains he sat from okay so which one allah created the last thing here the the mountain no here the last thing uh, allah did is he set them firmly he didn't create them no, they were already no in no 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 well jibalu or saha so there was no mountains before that there's no mountains allah he put the mountains in the top of the no earth, right? no it says as saha it doesn't say khalaqha it says as saha okay what are saha mean he put it there correct yeah. yeah correct okay so what it was there was no mountain correct no, no, it was already in earth. No, okay, okay, go to verse, uh, same same chapter, verse number 30. Go back. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. As for the earth, mm -hmm. this is when he spread it out. Okay. He already created the earth. All right. And in this chapter <coughs> is where he spread okay. out the earth. Okay, you just said, well, ardu ba'da dharika, ba'da dharika. It's mean, and then the earth, the after, and after that, he did this, correct? And after that, he did this, correct? He spread it. Correct. Okay. okay. He so, spread it. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Verse comes okay. before and, the mountain. Okay, and so after this point, Allah, he started working in the earth. He did the following. He made the earth flat. He made water and past and pastor green trees right and then after that he placed the mountains do we agree okay so okay. Well, but, but this the is, haha, we're on agreement uh -huh. right here okay so far so, that we both agree so, that okay. it was spread so, out right? so the point the first point is allah he finished no, the sky. Say verse verse so we we, track, we are please. going okay, verse so verse. This, we are going verse okay, verse. Okay, verse thirty. First, verse we number twenty-seven. We both agree that one, it's, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. One verse, second. Verse one to twenty-seven. Let me just ask you. So verse twenty-seven. Verse twenty-seven. Allah, He created the sky. Okay. Correct. Okay, but, okay, so are you in the same chapter or in the, the, other in the chapter? same chapter? The same chapter. Okay, so same Allah chapter. Created, verse 27. Let Allah, me, one second, Allah one second. created the okay, stars. Twenty-seven. Right, Allah created the stars. Yes. Okay. And, and, then, and, then, he no, raised, he said, and then he raised the sky. The sky, correct? He raised it up. This is in the other chapter. Yes. Correct. Okay. And he and he and as a fasawaha, which means he designed it, and then he made the he day made and the it, night, correct. and then he made what? The day and the night. No, again, uh, it's uh, darkness and br but I'm not gonna argue with you. No, no, you have that. to argue. No, no, you see, you see. Hey, listen, uh, Karim. If you want to be an honest, you want you want to be treated as a man, then act as a man. You can argue, no problem. I am. Listen. Okay. Let me tell you, can, you why you, you can I'm argue. Not being you can argue, no problem. Can you? Show I'm not arguing. Give me no, the no, verse. you can Give argue. Me the I'm giving you the verse. Chapter 20, chapter 79 verse 29 is it Allah saying okay. he created the, 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 the he created the darkness and he created the sun yes or no no because okay. he doesn't say does it say uh, he brought the daylight does it, does it he say, say does, it, does it say no it says he brought this is the translation you choose he brought the daylight does it say that okay he brought the daylight okay what is the daylight what is the daylight the, the daylight hmm. is a uh, light that comes from the day that we ah, think it comes from, from the day. The sun, okay. but it's what not. is that? What is the light which is it we see in the day? There's night and there's a day. So what is the light we see in the day? It's not the sun. Again, all light comes from God. But if you want me to say the sun, I want to read. I'm your not point. asking you to the say. Sun. You see, stop being a kid. You see, you are you are shame on you. Okay. Let I'm me, not being a kid. Let, you let change us, the okay. subject. Okay. We're on the mountain. Let us do. We are not. We are not. We are not changing. We are not changing. We are not changing the subject. Here the Quran saying that Allah He did design the sky first, and He made the day and the night. Correct. Okay. Okay. The sky is designed first. Okay. Right. And then. First. And then. Okay. And yes. then He made the day and the night. This is the second step. Okay. Fine. He made okay. the day and, and the night. And then after that, after that, Allah He made the earth. Okay. Of, I mean, Allah made the earth flat. Okay. That's fine. Okay. And then after that. He, no he, wait. He, what, what did you say after that? Allah made the earth what? Flat. What what verse is that? It says al ardu ba'da dalika dahaha dahaha mean flat. No, now you jump to the other chapter. No, so why are you not. jumping? No, chapters? this is the same chapter. What's wrong with you? Chapter seventy nine, verse number thirty. Okay, okay. okay. Wait, but you said the sama. Uh, where is that in this chapter? It's not. What's wrong with you? Verse number 27, okay. 28 to 29, Allah finished the sky. Allah created the sky, verse number no, 27. No, he says, <laughs> no, 27, he says, <laughs> Okay, so he built the sky. Verse number 27. Oh, okay, I thought you were talking about the seven heaven one. 
What's wrong with you? Yes, this is seven heaven anyway, because he finished them seven heaven. The heaven is still the okay, seven so heaven. Okay, so go on. So, so and, he and, built the sky. And then he raised the sky up and he designed it. And then he made the day and the night. And then after that, he made the earth flat. And after that, he made the water. And after that, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. Do we agree? Okay, well, add the number because you say after that, so I just have to make sure. Yeah, it says after that. You, you speak you, Arabic. You speak Arabic. It says, Well, after that, he start working in the earth. After that, he start making the water and the, and the trees. And then after that, he placed the mountains. So the last act Allah he did is uh, uh, after creating the sky, making the earth flat, spreading it, and then making day and night, and then making water and green trees and green, green greenery. And then he put the mountains at the top. This is the last thing. Now, if we go to chapter 41, it's the opposite. Allah first, and you are the okay, one who, and you are the one who agreed. Remember, you are the one who agreed that the first thing Allah He did before the sky mountains. When you call me, okay, chapter forty-one. What verse was it? Chapter forty-one. Which verse? Yeah. What was it? Here we go. Hold on. Let me close some. <coughs> Too many. Here we go. Chapter forty-one. Verse number nine, it says, Allah created the earth in two days. And then Allah, he made everything and he placed the mountains in the top of it. The same as the other one, Rawasi, in the top of it. This is the second thing he did. So first he created the earth in two days. Then he made mountains in the top of it. And he made water and substance in four days. And then after that he that went to, and then after that he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke. And then after that he made them seven heaven. And then after that he put the stars. This is totally the opposite from the chapter seventy nine. Not the opposite. Let me show you. Let me show you what you meant. Let me show you what you meant. <laughs> uh, show okay, me. if you read okay, verse uh, chapter, I'm gonna show you chapter mm. forty one verse eleven. Mm. Okay, I'm reading it. Go ahead. Okay, 41 verse 11 he says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ثم استوى إلى السماء right? وهو دخان فقال لها وهي وهي والأرض أتي طوعا أو قرها وهي not وهو وهي دخان Okay, I'll read in English Then he turned towards the heaven when it was still like smoke Okay Sing to it Hmm. and to the earth okay submit willingly or unwillingly hmm. they both responded we submit willingly okay so okay it says, you don't and, see uh, it you don't see what you missed no i did not see what it. did so allah say me. to the sky hey, come to me Brother, what did this, allah this say is to a the stupid sky statement the anyway so but but the sky is a smoke there's nothing there smoke this is stupid but it proves you wrong i don't care uh, what how, you think how does it, it prove is. me it wrong, you wrong. There's, no said, there's no stars there's no stars because he said to the, i'm gonna tell you you idiot 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 it's so clear okay it says hold on hold on so how is it allah he said okay after allah he said to the sky and to the earth come to me willingly what he did after that then he made them seven heavens and then what he did he made lamps. That's wonderful. Okay, what is what the question? Which one Allah he created first? The mountains? He finished the mountains or the stars? This is the okay, question. Okay, read verse uh, read verse what, 12, no, 40, on. 41, 12, what, what, right? What, what you said to me, what you said to me. What is the first what, word? What, the, what is the first word in the what, verse 12? What you said to me, you said the mountains. This is your text. Here we go. We took a screenshot of it. So it uh, is. Look, okay. Read the first. Okay, but, stay on topic. Okay, read the first but, okay, here we go. Let us read. It says Allah. First word made, of the, of verse, verse 12, number nine. 41, 12. Verse number nine. Allah, he created the earth. Verse number 10. I'm not disagreeing with you. I agree with everything you said. And okay. I'm backing it up. Too. Okay. I'm okay. telling you, read, okay. read so, chapter 41, verse 12. I'm, verse, read, verse. I'm reading 41, 12. No problem. Which one Allah? Well, what Allah? First word. Okay. I just need what the is, first word. What is the last thing Allah he did? What is the last thing Allah he did in chapter 41, verse number okay. 12? 
in in that one word you obviously don't know what it's saying faqadahun what does faqadahun mean he ordained them he designed them no 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 faqadahun no. what does that mean Can you tell me go ahead. Well, when you when you go okay you speak arabic you're i think egyptian right lama mm. bitruh bta'mil qadiyya lama you finish the thing qadiyya faqadahun you don't know what qadiyya means anymore abdul faqadahunna that's mean he made his decision how to design it qada wa qadar faqadahunna he made his decision wait 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 faqadahunna he decided their decision correct no he decide how they will be he made them that means they're dis- that means they're built that means they were not built yet brother ah. he just did he just did he just did <laughs> What Abdul? <laughs> I never saw a donkey like you. To I'll be honest, I mean your ears is bi- is bigger than an elephant. You idiot! I'm trying not you, to laugh. Okay, okay. Right. I, I, I will go. I will go. I will go, I will go with your stupidity. I will go with your stupidity. Allah, what is okay, the last? Yeah, go what, what is the last thing Allah he did? He made lambs, correct? Okay, give me the. I I don't speak from me. Give me the verse so I can read it. So wrong with you, donkey? Would I remember back. Yeah, the, I remember. The guy, who laughed, the guy who laughed loud at his God. Does it say in verse number twelve that then he did design the lambs? This is the last thing he did. Okay. Okay. What is the last thing Allah he did in chapter number seventy nine? Can I have the verse number so I'm reading it? What's I just wrong with you? Stay on What's wrong you? with you? Your ears is not helping. Chapter forty one, verse no, number twelve. I need to... Chapter forty one, verse number okay, twelve. Okay. What is the last thing Allah he designed? The lamps. Do you agree? Dunya. Yeah, be my sabi. Yeah. Okay. Correct. So, That's guys, perfection. in yeah. chapter forty-one, the last thing Allah He designed is the lambs. Be my witness. This is the last thing He finished the earth, He finished the heaven, and then He did the lambs. Wonderful. Now we go to chapter seventy-nine. In a second, Kareem, He will change His word. He will say, "I did not say that." CP. <laughs> Here we go. A chapter seventy-nine is saying. No, 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 no. Up. Go back to forty-one. Shut, shut up. up. We finished forty-one. Look what you missed again. In forty-one, you agree. The last thing Allah. So anything I say, you tell me to shut up, even though I'm proving no, you. Wrong. We are talking. Go back to forty-one. No, 12. no, no. Hold on. You say, you agreed already. You said you're right. I'm telling you. Listen, you you're agreed, right. Everything you, you said is right. But go agreed. back to forty-one. You just 12. agreed. Everybody heard you in chapter forty-one. Okay. Okay. The last, go back. The last, explain this to me. The last thing. Why does he say don't, don't on it? explain no more. This is the question. Was what is the last thing Allah he said he did? He said them the, the, the stars. You agreed the lamps. Now we go to chapter seventy-nine. Here it says that Allah. No, it's not the lamp. Shut I up! Read, you agreed. You agreed. Verse. It's recorded. Everybody heard. Read you. the full verse. You agreed. Read the okay. full verse. Read we, the full we, verse. We read the verse. Nobody forced you to say yes. You said yes. Everybody heard okay. you. Okay. So I'm gonna read the verse. I'm gonna read you what you didn't read. And you gave me the answer already. Wow. So let me. Say, you didn't let me read, brother. Let me read and talk and uh, show show how smart you are. Okay. ذلك لك وين يسرد الدنيا ذلك تقدير ابدول يو انسر اوريدي لك 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 يو انسر اوريدي واي يو ار واي يو ار تيكين يور ووردز باك يو ديد انسر مي اوريدي اي اس يو وات از يو تراين وات از ذا لاست ثينج اوكي ذاك ليت مي ريبيت ذا ليت مي ريبيت ذا سيم ليت مي ريبيت ذا سيم كويشن اجين تشابتر 41 فيرس نمبر 12 از ات ترو ذات ذا لاست ثينج الله هي ديزاين اور هي ميد از ذا لامبس يس اور نو Yes, but that's spoken because he said Taqdeer. Okay, is hold on. This is not the question. So, did Allah the last oh, thing? Yes. The, this is the did, question because that's this physical. This is my question. This is you, when you, you don't tell me. You don't tell me what is my question. I tell you what my question. My question is: Is it true that the last thing Allah He did is the lambs? Yes or no? He said yes. Okay. So why you why you bring me back again here? Why all this argument for what? So we go, here so now we go back. Shut up. The, no, so now we go back. About, so now, so now we go back. Shut up. Here. So now we you go back. You were talking about so the will of God for three hours. And you know what? All of a sudden, let us go back. Shut up. We go back now to seventy-nine. Let us read together. It says it clearly that Allah He created this guy. Allah He made the sky, and now Allah He made the day and the night, and then after that He start walking in the earth, and after that He made the water, and after that He placed the mountain. It's totally the opposite direction. Shut up and don't call me again. You are an idiot.
Meu, no comment. What's wrong with those people? I repeat the same question. Okay, let us go back. Okay, no problem. Let us go back. So what is the last thing Allah he did in chapter 41? Do you agree? It is the name. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, the second we flip the page. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Okay. Why are you all going? Yeah, yeah. So I repeat the question. So what is the last thing Allah he did in chapter 41? Do you agree? It is the name. Uh, yes. Okay. We go now to verse number uh, chapter 79. No, no, no. Go, go back. Go back. Look, what's wrong with you? So chapter 79 saying the opposite from chapter 41. Here the last thing Allah he did, he created the lamps, the stars. In chapter 79, the first thing Allah created, it is the sky. He rose the sky. He made the day and the night. And then after that, he stopped working in the earth. And after that, he made the water. And then after that, he placed the mountains. And remember, we have already a verse in chapter 2 saying that Allah, he created everything on earth and then he went to the heaven and he made them seven. Total contradiction. So the only way for those people is to, to try to play games. You have to make it very simple so they cannot play games. I'm not asking you if Allah created the sky first. No, no, no. But it's because that you can play a game about it. I'm saying very clear the, the the stars, which one, the stars or the mountains? Which one, the water or the uh, the stars? Very simple. In two seconds, you will find that all of this is a, is a shish kebab, is a hummus. This God cannot be God. I mean, how how somebody he claimed to be God? He don't remember which one he created first. Especially in Arabic, it's so clear. Like in, our, in in the English translation, they lie to you. You see, in Arabic, it says, "Well, ardu ba'da dalika dahaha," and he agreed that ba'da dalika means after that. But here in the translation, it doesn't say after that. It says, "As for earth, he spread it out." But that's not true. What is after that? The reason they took it off because that will make people see the contradiction. He agreed. He speak Arabic. He agreed. Yes, it says after that. If you change the translator, right away you will see how the word after that will come back to life. This one who translated this translation is a fraud. He don't want us to see the word after that, because after that will cause a problem. Look at Yusuf Ali. And the earth moreover, what is moreover? It doesn't say moreover. Ch change the translator. Let us go to a different one. Uh, let us see uh, Shakir. And the earth he expanded after that. This is a correct translation, but the word after that should be in the beginning. But this guy trying to play skills of English. You see the word after that appear? In the previous translation, they did not show the word after that because that will make a huge difference. Because if it says after that, it's obviously talking about order. Well, ardu ba'da dhalika dahaha. very clear they take it away from the translation the word after that because that is an expose to the lies of Muhammad who he claimed that this is coming from his God a God who do not know which one is created first the egg or the chicken in one verse he says the chicken in the other verse he says the egg Very obvious. I feel sorry for this kid, by the way. I mean, you are lying to yourself. You are not lying to me. You speak Arabic. It's in front of you. You can see it. I believe this kid is struggling with himself. You know, he's trying his best to defend, but it's very obvious. And especially the Quran say clearly that Allah, he created everything in the earth, everything in the earth. And then he finished whatever is in the sky. Very simple. <clears throat> Can you deny that? No, you cannot. 
especially even in Arabic it says he created for you what all is in the top of the earth Jamian it is he who created for you that all that is on earth and then you see here he says and he directed himself that's that's false it says in Arabic thumma thumma is a, is a tool to present timing and the timing is long after there's a Muslim guy actually he tried to convert people to Islam he is teaching you what how to use the word thumma he have a video the title of it how to use the word thumma in his video you will see it says thumma is to present a long time of period for something happen after actually I can search for the video right now Give me a second. <clears throat> and this guy, he made videos against me too. And we get him busted. Let me see. Maybe. Yeah, this is the guy. Here we go. Hmm. So inshallah in this series we're going to be going through the different meanings of Thumma. Thumma. Hmm. We're going to go through examples from the Quran and from outside the Quran. Okay. To demonstrate let us move to the, to the to the meaning. Here we go. Thumma is a conjunction that is usually indicate the order, extensive period of time. Do you see it, guys? This is the Muslim videos. Do you see it? Thumma is not only after that; it is way after that. Harf atf. And it usually indicates order. So it joins between two things and it indicates order between them and an extensive period of time. We'll yes. explain what that means in just a second. Hmm. Uh, just prior to giving the example, we need to actually highlight the difference in the light of another conjunction, which is the fa. So fa is a conjunction that usually indicates order as well. So they both indicate order. The difference is that thumma indicates an extensive period, while fa indicates a brief period. See how clear we can make it? So now if we go to the Quran, we will see the word thumma. So there was a way long period after Allah He created the earth, then thumma stawa ila sama thumma which is extensive period of time. In the translation, they destroyed it, they took it off, they said, and he directed himself. Why? Because they are a fraud, embarrassing. They are trying to do cover up. What happened to the word thumma? If you change the translator in a miraculous way, you will see how the meaning changed. Let us change it, Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. What we will find, read carefully. He is who created for you all that on earth. Then, look here, we have then. There, we don't have then. Then he rose over toward the heaven, and then he made them seven heaven. So the earth is done totally, perfectly, before Allah, he finished the sky. Bingo. So, what we will do with the chapter 79? In 79, it says that Allah, He created the sky. He made the day and the night. He finished the sky in two days.
he lift up the sky because Allah believed that he put the sky in the top of pillars which we cannot see and then Allah he made the day and the night and after that not and and not and and the earth he made this is not that's not true it says in Arabic and after that if you change the translator you will see it says after that the word after that this is Yusuf Ali doesn't say that let us show you the front translation then the word after that will appear suddenly here we go clear so even even by reading chapter uh, 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 2 verse number 79 and chapter 79 compared them together we will find the contradiction clear without even going to 41 as simple as that <clears throat> uh, we have I think the same this is the same guy who played Quran for me and he called me names <coughs> he is using a store in uh, Windows software his call is not we cannot call him the funny they are saying I call me coward who well, I called you let's see who is the coward so do you see how easy it is to expose the stupidity of this cult Yeah, Ayah Khan, my career is over. You see, all Muslims, they claim to be scholar. They don't let me speak to them because they knew if I speak to them, their career is over. So guys, did you take a note? Chapter 2, compare only. You do not need even to go to 41. If you go to chapter 2, verse number 29, and then you go to chapter 79 and you read it from verse 27 you will find right away the contradiction for chapter 2 say clearly Allah he finished totally the earth clear it says Jamian it is he who created for you that all in earth there's nothing left without details all in the earth mountains water trees insect human everything everything in the earth and then then he went to the heaven and the heaven was what there was no heaven it was empty and then he made them seven heaven so the design is obvious Any Muslim have an answer? How this is can be from God? You see, I use those verses. I can use many other verses, but those are the most easy. Doesn't matter how silly, slow you are to prove to you, even if you are so slow. <clears throat> this is why I use them always, repeatedly, because they are so so easy to prove. He created heaven, he created earth, and this is not the answer, Nabil. I want the order. Why you are skipping the order? The order is our problem. We don't. He created earth, he created heaven. Nabil, are you a kid? This is not the question. The question is the chapter 2, verse number 29 says a clear word Allah, he created everything in earth, and then he starts working in the heaven. Very clear. So what Nabil, he tried to jump, oh, he created earth, he created heaven. Oh, this is not the question. And by the way, Allah created nothing, obviously, because the one who don't remember which one he created first, obviously, he have no idea. Have you ever heard of a God? He say, like hail is coming up from mountains in, he in heaven. Is that really what hail coming from? Like, you know, starting from the next month, we will start having hail, maybe. So, uh, hail is coming from mountains in heaven. W what kind of God he say that? The God he believe hail is broken from mountains? 
and those mountains are flying like Avatar movie. And the Muslims, in order to fix this lie, they say, read carefully, and he sent, he sent down from the sky hail between two brackets like mountains. Is that really what it says? And look, the coward, the coward, he put two options or, 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 there are in the heaven mountains of hail from where he sent down the hail. You coward, you say, or, where is the or? This is what the Quran is saying. Now, this is God. This is a God who he think there is hail and as mountains and they are located in heaven. And then he break hail from those rocks in the mountains and then he throw it at us. This is God, my friend. This is the one who created the universe. He says such a stupid statement. Look at the Sahih International. Just look, look how they try to fix it. Look how they try to fix the lies. And he sent down from the sky mountains of a cloud. Like what? This is what the verse is saying. Which within which is hail. Absolute 100% lie. If we change the translator, let us see. This is Sahih International. Let us see big tile. <laughs> 43. Look at this, guys. He sent down from the heaven mountains where hail, where is hail? <laughs> we did not change the Quran, we changed the translator. And the Muslims, they say, we do not corrupt the Quran, brother. Isn't it, this is a corruption? When you change everything Allah is saying by your English translation, this is corruption. If we go and read the interpretation for the verse, shall we? Yeah, to see maybe Christian Prince, his Arabic is not good. Maybe it doesn't say that. Maybe. So chapter 24, verse number 43. Okay. <clears throat> Again, chapter 24, verse number 43. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And this is Tafsir Ajalalain. And he sent down from the heaven out of mountains min jibalin min extra that are in in the heaven. Do you see it? <coughs> Do you see it? So there's mountains in the heaven, they have hail. He sent down from the heaven out of mountains hail. This is what? This is Tafsir Jalalain. Okay, forget about Jalalain. What Ibn about Abbas? We can see Ibn Kathir. Hmm? Now Ibn Kathir, he came 800 years after, so he is a smarter, supposedly. Try to fix it. Uh, here it says, he sent down from the heaven mountain where there is hail. He says, he sent down hail from mountains in heaven. Do you see it, how clear it is? Now, those are Muslim scholars. This is the cousin of Muhammad. This is a guy who speaks the same Arabic of Muhammad. Did he understand wrong? The Arabic? No way. So what kind of God he says that hail is coming from mountains in heaven? This is the God who created the universe. God, he have a refrigerator. He open it, there's mountain, he break the ice, he throw it at us from the freezer. <clears throat> have you ever been offered money to stop? Yeah, sure. There's a guy, his name is a guy, his name is Child of God. He have a recording of it, I think. He posted it in the internet. 
they offer me 10,000 then they increase the number 20 30 40 and then they reach the number of 100 and they say to me you have to stop coming you have to sign we will, our lawyer will contact you you have to sign an agreement that you will shut down your website I don't have a website this is a those are people who give me like access to the website but I don't have a website uh, uh, you have to sign an agreement that you will never speak about Islam you will never make a video you will not do anything that's it take the hundred thousand and go and I was talking to them by the way because I told them come and say it loud in front of everybody because if I'm going to stop I want people to know why I stop so they like the idea they said to themselves okay if you agree in front of everybody to take money uh, people will not listen to him no more <laughs> uh, uh, Khan he's saying call me I called you idiot already I called you but it says you are using a stolen software See what it says? Yeah. Yeah, we called him again uh, uh, already many times. <coughs> yeah. Go let your father talk to me. I don't want kids now. We called you many times. You are not. It's not working. <coughs> So what kind of God he says such a thing? This is the God? This is really God? There's mountains in heaven, he break from it. If we ask the Muslims, why the sky is blue? Hey Muslims, why the sky is blue? Any Muslim <coughs> have an idea? Why the sky is blue? The sky is blue because the earth is surrounded by a mountain. Its name is Qaf. And this mountain is surrounding the earth from every direction. Read carefully. Chapter 50, verse number 1, Qaf. He asked the Muslim, what is this Qaf? He said, And from the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, in his interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he said, Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking the world, and the color of the sky take from it. True story. It's true. Why the sky is blue? Because there's a mountain, it's called Qaf, and it's blue. This is why there is a Western band, they sing a song, it says, Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, mommy, blue, oh, mommy, blue, oh, mommy. Now we know where the song is coming from. I was wondering where the song is coming from. I mean, this guy is just born singing, Oh, mommy, and then, Oh, mommy, blue. Who knows such a knowledge save Allah? Blue. Hmm. <clears throat> Obviously, this is from God. This is truly from God. It's an azure mountain. Look, it's not a normal mountain. It's an azure mountain. And this azure mountain is overlooking the earth. It's a, it's a fence around the, the earth is a flat. There's a mountain around it in the corners or the sides. And the sky is blue because of this mountain. Makes sense. <clears throat> Once I was saying, uh, I was in a radio show, so I want to say makes sense instead of I said it make, makes sex. <laughs> oh boy. Let me get some water.
See what Islam can do to you? You die laughing. <clears throat> uh, Frangi boy. The Bible mentioned that God have body part. My friend, we do not need to go to Isaiah. We believe that God, he came as a man. So when you say to me, God have body part, I love. It's a child question. <clears throat> we Christian believe that God, he came as a perfect man. So what body part? Very funny. <clears throat> is it everything created by him and for him that is Jesus Christ? Isn't it Jesus have hands? So when you say in Isaiah, it says, my own hand laid foundation of the earth. So the Quran says, Allah, he built everything by his two hands. The difference is that you Muslims, you deny that your God have body parts. For us, we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Son is a full human being, yet he is God in the same time. So your argument doesn't work against us, it works against you. Your God, not only he have hands, he have hands in the right side, both of them. If we go in the Hadith, we will, we will see that Allah have a, is a defect, he have a defect. Have you ever heard of a God have two hands in the right side? <clears throat> Are you there, the one who made the comment? This is your God, my friend, and two, both God of uh, both hands of Allah are right hands. <clears throat> so for us, this is additional proof that even the Old Testament report that Jesus the Christ, our God, is the one who created everything by Him and for him, for Him everything created. Now you can say this metaphorically; it doesn't matter really for me. You want to say body part, who care? But here we go, your God have two hands and they are located in the right side. Your God, Allah, have a defect. <clears throat> are you there? You know, I find that those kind of uh, comments are silly. You know, a person who is silly, obviously he do not know what we Christians believe because you are not saying something it's like will make us look bad you know god have a body part <laughs> you see if god he have a body part if god he come to us as a human or god he come as a bird still is god at the end of the day it's what he can do it's not what how he look like like <clears throat> when god is invisible is he more powerful than when he is visible no, it's the same, the same person, God. <clears throat> so he's visible, he is invisible. And if God cannot be visible and can be invisible, that means he is not almighty God. <clears throat> Our God is almighty and he deserves the name for he can be invisible and he can be visible. He can be a man Yet he can be God. Your God, he cannot. <coughs> the Quran says, how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? This is Allah logic, not my logic. <coughs> how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Obviously, Allah cannot be God then. Because my God, he can have a son without any sexual activities. What does this have to do with God? How even God compare himself to a human being saying, how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? That is something can be said to someone he is a human. This is a human speaking to a human, saying to him, in the logic of a human, I cannot have, how I can have a son? If, like, okay, my mother, she asked me, do you have a children? I say, okay, mom, how I'm going to have a son and then have a girlfriend? 
and here even the logic or the word is used is sahiba which is a shame because a religious person he should not say girlfriend he should say a wife how about God himself using the word girlfriend <clears throat> right <clears throat> if you want me to respond to you in pal talk at least you know use a nice words Otherwise, I will I will spank you before even I talk to you. Uh, <clears throat> no problem, my friend. Uh, you can translate to the Rotarian. Contact me in Patreon. Send me a message so I can remember, and uh, I will give you my permission. <clears throat> yeah, and I promise you, if you translate the book into Rotarian. Uh, but you have to give it to me and I will publish it for free for people of Eritrea for free <clears throat> I publish all my books which is translated in languages of poor countries for free actually there is someone now working in the Chinese and when we have it ready I will publish it too for free even I know that Chinese are not really poor <coughs> Any Muslim? So for us, for us, even the Old Testament witness that Jesus is a truly God on earth. My hand, it was my hand that laid the foundation of the earth. So when Jesus said, or the Bible, the New Testament said, for him and by him everything was created, and nothing was created without him. That is confirmed in the verse which this Muslim he posed for us in Isaiah chapter 48, verse number 13. And the Messiah, he made it so clear that I am exist with the Father before everything anything came to exist <clears throat> and you know remember while the Muslim trying to argue with us about Jesus if he is God or not we are arguing with Muslims about the stupidity of their book and about their prophet being sexual or sex like sexual predator so we debate them about Jesus being God because he's so so good to the point is he God or is not? I mean, he's so good. Do you notice that? We we don't discuss about Jesus about how how bad he is, how disgusting he is. We discuss about how good he is. Even no Muslim dare to say that Jesus was bad, but the Quran say clearly that Muhammad was bad. Yet the Quran is made by Muhammad. <clears throat> the reason for that. Muhammad, in the time he was exist, he had to cleanse his image. People, they knew his filthy. So he said, okay, well, Allah, he said to me, he might forgive my sin. Huh? Yeah, Allah, he might forgive my sin. Chapter 48, verse number 2. Allah saying to Allah, that Allah may forgive this sin. I mean, have you ever heard of a God saying to God? I mean, if you are God, how you say, may Allah forgive your sin? <clears throat> does Islam have a reason why Jesus was crucified? Well, uh, Islam does not tell us that Jesus was crucified. Islam says someone else was crucified, but I know what you are trying to say. Does Islam explain why the Jews try to crucify Jesus, correct? No. The Quran said two words. The Jews, they said, we killed Isa, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. <laughs> why? We don't know why. <coughs> and why somebody, he believe in Allah, he want to kill a messenger of Allah, doesn't make sense. How come they are believers, and yet... They want to kill the messenger of God if they believe in him.
It's a stupid code. <clears throat> hey, Karim, nobody drink alcohol as much as Muslims, and as long drinking alcohol is bad, so how hypocrite it is that Allah, he promised you a river of alcohol. You see the hypocrisy, Karim? Drinking alcohol does not make you bad. It's what you do. If you get drunk and you start doing bad things, that make you bad. Otherwise, alcohol is food and it's, it's useful. Alcohol is a is useful thing. Is used as a medicine. People who have heart doctors, they advise them to drink a little of wine every day. Go check. Alcohol is not the problem. People is the problem. So if alcohol, according to Allah in the Quran, is from the shaitan, then how Allah, he promised you alcohol in heaven. Allah will buy alcohol from shaitan. And your prophet used to teach people how to make alcohol and he used to be drunk most of the week. In chapter 5, verse number 90, it says that alcohol is from the tools of shaitan. Okay, wonderful. As long as it is from shaitan, how alcohol, which is made by shaitan, end in the heaven of Allah? Can you answer me? Hey, he changed the topic now. I don't want to talk about it. Muslims, as long alcohol is from the shaitan, from Satan, how come Allah is buying his alcohol from shaitan, importing it to heaven? Any answer? If you say to me this alcohol will not make you get a drunk as some Muslims, they say, that means this is not alcohol, this is uh, cheating, fabricated. This is fake alcohol. It's alcohol free. So how you call it alcohol? <clears throat> right? The heaven of Islam is nothing but a, a bunch of a drunk people. Actually, even in the time of Muhammad, the Arab, they used to die laughing at the Muslims praying because they used to drink to drink and drunk like a crazy. And then they start praying to Allah. Muhammad, he stand in the middle. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. If you don't believe me, read the story behind this verse in the Quran. In chapter 4, verse number 34, Allah said to the believers, O who you believer, draw not, draw not near the prayer when you are drunk. Do you see it? Why Allah, he said that? Read that tafsir. The Muslims, the Arab, they start laughing at Muhammad and his followers, the Arab bunch of gang. They are gang. Literally, they are gang. They are drunk gang. They are falling apart around Muhammad. So Muhammad now he you know he said, okay, that's enough. And now he decided to become like tough with them. So what he said, please don't drink and pray. Like what the heck with you? If this is from Shaitan, why Allah don't say, hey, stop? They say to you, Islam came in stages. Ah, so Muhammad, he take over and slowly, 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 he control you. Not right away. He fool you. <clears throat> Muhammad and the believers are a bunch of a drunk people. Read it in front of you. Did Jesus say to the believers, don't pray and you, when you are drunk? He did not say that. Why? Because he don't have any drunk around him. Who was drunk, like Peter or Paul or who? Nobody. Muhammad, he does. Him and his followers, they are a bunch of a drunk people. Gang. He, they walk in the street and they are drunk. Prophet Muhammad, when he walk in the street, he making zigzag. He don't walk correctly, he zigzag. <clears throat> Mm 
Hmm. All right. Do we have any Muhammadan want to say anything? The Prophet, he have tons of hadith teaching Muslims how to make a wine. <coughs> There's a woman, uh, she's a very old woman. She went to Hajj. You know, in, in the Muslims, when they go to Hajj, they have to go around the Kaaba, you know? Uh, <coughs> uh, let me show you an example. Actually, this is a life. You see, the Kaaba right now is empty. It's totally empty, actually. There's nobody there, you know. Since uh, since Prophet Corona, I mean, like now, supposedly there's more. Like in a certain point, there was nobody. And look like, it's like, a, you know, pagan people going around like stone, going in a circle, they go in a circle. What is that? <clears throat> so there's a woman, they stopped her in the airport and they found with her a lot of whiskey. And she's an old woman. So the Saudi police, the custom, he said to her, shame on you. You are bringing, you are coming to Hajj and you are bringing whiskey. The old woman, she said, my son, my son, I am so old to walk around the Kaaba. So I drink some wine and the Kaaba walk around me. Black label. Pagan cult. Look at this. What is this madness going around a, a room? In circle, like you know, ants, you know, the ants. I don't know if you saw ants, what they do. <clears throat> what is this? What What is the religion exactly I'm practicing when I go around this like this? Non stop, non stop, go, 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 go. go. Is that a Disneyland? Is that go, is that go dizzy? It, is it like, is this game called uh, Make Me Dizzy? So the woman, she cannot go walk around the Kaaba, so she drink black label, and the Kaaba walk around her. Actually, there's the guy who is the leader of uh, uh, the Ahmadiyya. He have a friend. His friend is a, is a hashish uh, a businessman. So <clears throat> he said that when he went to the Kaaba, he did not go around the Kaaba. The Kaaba go around him. And I believe it was the hashish influence. <clears throat> yeah there's a few people allowed and now because now they have the vaccine if you should see like a few months ago it was zero there's nobody there not even a person and the funny is Muhammad he says that plague and those diseases cannot enter neither the city of Mecca or the city of Medina so why you shut them down right <clears throat> Oh. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Now, next time, we will have really a great time. We have a very interesting topic. Uh, I will leave the topic surprising for you. You will be very surprised. <coughs> There's a bunch of Muslims are going crazy, so we will, the video will be about them. Uh, tell me five differences between Allah heaven and Christ heaven. First, in Islam there is no heaven, so we cannot compare. You see, if heaven is involved, 70 years orgasm, that is not heaven, that is a curse. If you are spending your life eternity doing nothing but except except moving your waist backward forward having sex how that can be heaven <clears throat> you know what I mean this is not heaven 
this is a pimp house they put a sign in the top of it and they said this is heaven there's somebody says call me I mean you come now after all this time we are here for long my friend what about we call you next time let us give you a chance <coughs> ah, I think you are the same person it says you need to update your palto <coughs> so we don't have really any heaven to compare Islam does not preach heaven Islam preach hell the house of the devil a true God he will not take the job of a pimp Allah is a pimp his job is to provide you women to F excuse my language that is not God so never say I'm going to compare between this heaven and this heaven for that is hell that is not heaven Satan he can call his hell heaven to deceive you so you go and get in and then you will never get out that is Islam true God he don't promise you any promise which Muhammad he promised when Muhammad he promised you that in heaven you will have women with big breast is that a decent heavenly God promise is that the holy God talking I will give you women with big breasts or big boobs where is the holiness of God let us say you have a birthday and then somebody he come to you in the birthday and he gave you a gift and it is a porn movie and he claimed to be a holy man God is God is that does that make sense to you in this case this God not only he is giving you a porn movie he make you the porn movie you yourself that cannot be from God this is not a talk of God this is a talk of the devil who tried to tempt me and tempt you and we as a men we get tempted by women and women get tempted by men so Satan he knew perfectly what is our weakness and from your weakness he will grab you sex money gold silver food all the heaven of Islam is nothing but from the stomach and down read it drink a grape women boys gold silver diamond pearls zaffron that's it your house in the heaven is a brick of gold brick of silver but ask yourself who is the one who tried to deceive us by gold and silver God what is the value of gold and silver in heaven anyway actually it's going to be ugly to have a house the brick of it is one piece of gold on one piece of silver that is disgusting who of us like to live inside a tank imagine you can go actually buy now there's there's a paint there's a paint a gold paint is expensive yes from gold, made from gold you can spray your house inside from gold but that will look ugly your house will look totally ugly <clears throat> imagine you look at the floor it's gold you look at the scene it's gold you will go crazy it's not comfortable this is not God my friend what kind of God he promised you that each time you have sex with the women Allah he will put his finger there and he will make her virgin again <clears throat> a Kareem is asking when Jesus died where did he go is a better question you know you see how stupid Kareem so you are not offended that your God he made you a pimp your question is where Jesus go the Quran says he is in heaven the question is this where Jesus go I mean look at this you know look at them 
A Muslim he present to me when he listen to me is like a chicken taking out her feather and think I am in pain. <laughs> like Karim, he is taking feather from his skin one after one. <clears throat> it hurt, and he think now he's hurting Christian Prince. You idiot! You just got yourself busted because in your religion, Jesus in heaven. Why he's in heaven and Muhammad is under the ground? Why Muhammad is with the cockroaches and Jesus in the holy heaven? If Muhammad is the most important man and Jesus is not important as Muhammad, then you need to answer the question, how come he is in heaven and you, Muhammad, is under your feet? That is a good question. So this is what they do. They are like a chicken taking feather from itself, thinking that this is the, the chicken, the, the chicken next to her. At the end of the day, he will find that he is getting bold because he took all his feather. And by the way, talking about feather, Allah, uh, he is the one who sent, he covered us by feather. I think Allah is confused between us <clears throat> and the Red Indian. You know, I remember when I was a kid, I you know I read the Quran and it says that Allah, He cover us by feather. And then like, okay, I understand Arabic. Yes, I am like young, but I mean, come on, the word feather is so clear. Why Allah saying we are covered by feather? So I said, let me ask the teacher. The teacher of the Arabic language, he's a professional. He knew. I mean, come on. There's no way he don't know. So, you know, I ask him, hey, teacher, the Quran, it says that Allah, he cover us by feather. But we don't have feather. The teacher, he is a genius. He said, when Allah, he created Adam, some scholars, they say, he come with feathers. <laughs> True story. Yeah. The first man, he was a turkey. And look here the Muslim translation the word feather is gone where is the word feather I didn't see it do you see it we need to change the translation to find the one who is saying the truth and this one does not have feather let us see Hilali and Khan okay bestwood remnant upon you where is the word feather is gone let us continue we go to Bictal. Let us see Bictal. We have to keep trying until we get lucky. Okay, he uh, cover you, Raymond. Where is the feather? Is gone. Until now, we have no luck. There's no feather. Okay, let us see uh, who we will try. Try Shakir. <coughs> uh, he send you uh, with the closing to cover with shame. Where is the feather? Is gone. None of them put in the word feather. Do you see how important it is to speak Arabic? Let us see different translation. We have to keep trying. I mean, what we can do? Let us see Sahih International. Uh, yeah, there's no feather. That's it. Bad luck. Enter now, zero one. Kari. There's no feather too. What happened to the feather? None of them want to show us the word feather. You figure out why. Okay, Muhammad Asad. Let us see Muhammad Asad. <coughs> no feather. How many translation we changed? Hey Karim, do you know why the Muslim they took the word feather away? You speak Arabic. Why we don't find the word feather? I didn't find it. But here we go, it's in Arabic. Warishan, Walibasan. There's no feather. <coughs> you 
you know what let me let me try this uh, <clears throat> as long as we cannot find we do not know which translation Uh, let us see. If we go to a Muslim website, have a translation. Let me do this. Hold on. Give me a second. Man, my back hurt from sitting this long. What was the website? Let us try this one. Hold on. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Here we go. Ah, it worked. It worked. So I went to Quran.com and I typed the word feather and here we go. We found the translation. Dr. Ghali, it says, uh, and he put it between the bracket, which is funny. Fine clothes or feathers. <laughs> this, this should not be between a bracket. Because this is what it says in Arabic. Different translation. Here, Dr. Ghali says, literally, your feathers. This is why the smart Arabic teacher, in order to save Allah from the stupidity, he says that Allah, he sent Adam and he was covered by feather. He was a turkey. So imagine all the translation, they took the word feather away. <coughs> the link is Quran.com and just type the word feather. <coughs> I hope I'm not getting sick because I'm coughing. Maybe I should take like a few days off. Each time I go live or offline, I say, okay, tomorrow I'm not going to go live. Uh, and if then, and then I say like in the morning, I woke up, I said, I will go 15 minutes. Okay, today I will make it short. Same as today, actually, I was planning to go like 15 minutes, you know, how long? Uh, just three hours and 54 minutes, not, not much. Short video. I think, I think the best way to make the video short is to stop the chat and not to open pal talk and not to talk to anyone. Just to speak about the topic and bingo, you know? Or maybe record it before I go live, you know? Uh, Kareem saying in Quran chapter 106, verse 2 3. What about it, uh, Kareem? I mean, please don't go there. Chapter 106, you want me to go there? Are you serious? Man, you made a big mistake. Okay, let us see. How in the world this is can be called even a chapter? Do you see a chapter in the chapter? Karim, be honest with me. What is the chapter? If I count them, they are not even 12 Arabic word. How in the world the 12 Arabic word became a chapter? You tell me. And what we learn from this? <laughs> this is a chapter? Actually, let's go and see, show you even funnier. funnier. Uh, look at this. <clears throat> One of my favorite chapters in the Quran, the Muslim they call it chapter, but I find it a kind of uh, embarrassment. Let us change the translation. This guy, his, his translation is hilarious. Very long. Here we go. Okay. Oh, Kuffar. Look, look at the translation, how funny. Kuffar became reject faith. Kuffar is not to hurt those who reject faith, you idiot. Because Muslims themselves are kuffar, if this is the way, because they reject the faith of the pagan, supposedly, right? 
but yet they are pagan so not everyone kafirun is those who hide the true faith not the one who just reject oh i worship uh, not what you worship and nor you worship what i worship and i will not worship what you have been worship because you don't worship what i worship and you you worship what i worship and you have your religion i have mine what a crazy cult if you change only one word in this chapter and you say this hey muslims i eat not what you eat and you will not eat what i eat and i will do not eat what you eat because you do not do eat what i eat and i will never eat what you eat however i eat hummus you will not eat hummus you have your hummus i have mine this is a this is quran the holy chapter is saying i Worship not what you worship, and you worship not what I worship, and I will not worship what you worship, so you will not do worship what I worship, and I will never do worship your worship, and because you will not do worship, and this is how why I don't worship what you worship, and you have your worship, I have mine. So what he said, nothing. Same time, the holy statement is wrong, because the pagan, they worship Allah too. So how do you say, I worship not what you worship? Isn't it the most time they say, even the father of Muhammad, his name is the slave of Allah? So how you say I worship not what you worship and you worship not what I worship? Stupid. You can say that to the Christians, but you cannot say that to the people of Quraysh because you both worship the same God Allah. So when you say I worship not what you worship and you do not worship what I worship and I will never worship what you worship because I will not worship what you worship and I do worship what you worship and I will worship not what you worship for not to worship you will worship what I worship. And the end of the ship, you became a captain. I think I made it clear, isn't it? Like ship, 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 ship. You feel like you're working for a computer company, or like you ship, 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 ship. This is God talking. Look for. I don't worship what you worship, and you don't worship what I worship, and you will not worship what I worship because you don't worship that what I worship, and I worship what I worship, not worship. So worship, but don't worship what I worship. And the worship, okay, finished. This is God. This is wisdom. This is deep. I'm getting dizzy. You worship not what I worship, and you worship not what I worship. You will not worship what I worship. I will not worship what do you worship. <sighs> we lost internet. We lost internet for a second, a minute, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the, the, the one about you eat, but you know, the one it's not sin for you to eat in your father's house, and it's not sin to eat in your mother's house, and it's not sin if you are blind or sick to eat in your house. I mean, what is this? This is deep. If you go and see what Jesus said, like in the Mount of Olive, you know, and then I eat not what you eat, you eat not what I eat. I eat not what you do eat, you eat not what I do eat. We eat not what do you eat, you eat not what we do eat. We eat not and we don't understand what Muhammad going not is about. Da la 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 <laughs> That's deep. This is God. I mean, here you can put your fingers in the eyes of the one you are debating. If somebody is a kafir, he come to you. What do you say to him? I not worship what you worship, and you don't worship what I worship. I got you busted. Here we go. <laughs> deep. That's deep. That's like it's like a bullet in the in the in the bones. Like yeah, he, okay, I got you busted. I just told him I worship not what you worship and he said to him I don't worship what you worship so now he, what he can say to me I wish like Zach and Nike he called me I, I, Zach and Nike he will say it in a different way but then Fitar Fitar 
Before we start our argument or our debate, I'm going to say to Christopher, I worship not what you worship, and you worship not what I worship. Because you worship not what I worship, and I worship not what I worship, and you worship not what I worship, and because I worship not what I worship, so we will never worship. And the Muslim they clap. Wow! Zakir Naik, he destroyed Christian prince from the beginning. Wow! That's... Wow, what he, what he just did. Look at Christian prince, he, his mouth is like... Is, is he dead? Christian Prince, you are not moving. Christian Prince, are you there? Christian Prince? Okay, brother and sister, we have to announce to you that the debate is over because the Christian Prince is dead. And he is standing firm because he's holding a stick in his hand like a prophet Solomon. If you remember, brother, in chapter 15, verse 13, verse 13, verse 13, it says that the prophet Solomon, he died and he was standing over a stick. And then we pray to Allah that the termite will come and eat the thick of the Christian prince and the way for done. How I can answer Zach and Nag? There's no way. That's it. That's so deep. I eat not what you eat. Oh, it's over. Anyone remember the story of Suleiman? I think I'm getting sick, by the way. I think I'm getting, I have cold, maybe. I did not get sick for long. So I think there is, uh, <clears throat> I need to take a break. Uh, you know what, uh, you know the story about Suleiman when he died in the stake? It's a true story. I mean, look at this God. He's reporting for us a sto true stories. A king, he have a kingdom. He died, nobody noticed. What do you want more than this to prove that this is from God? Be honest. <clears throat> oh, Karim, you appear in our screen suddenly. Which one you created first? Mountains. Hey, Karim, are you sure? Mountains. <laughs> what, what? Mountains. Then Karim, he called me, and the mountains became stars. <laughs> oh, I really I need to go. I better go because this is getting so long. It's already already we passed four hours and four minutes. So guys, I want to say thank you really for being here. I apologize really. My back is hurting me from sitting long, and already I have like I have a muscle strain and uh, in my side. This is what happened to you when you play karate. You know, all my life I said to myself. Okay, first I will learn how to do uh, the yellow belt. I, okay, I got the yellow belt. And then I said to myself, I will get the, the green belt. I got the green belt. And then I said to myself, I will get the blue belt. Anyway, I get like all the colors. <laughs> and then I get the black belt. And then I said to myself, no way, I'm going to stop here. I will start doing the practice of a Bruce Lee. What is that? I worship. What you not worship, you don't worship, what I worship. I mean this you know the trick, you know, you know the thing, you know the thing. George Rosa Biden, you know you know the thing. So I practice this is you know the thing, like which like hee ho ha and then <laughs> my side hurt, my muscle like ripped off. So now I'm suffering because of that. I hope it's going to take my I don't know how long it's going to take to to recover from it, but obviously this muscle it hurt badly. <clears throat> I will never do this movement again, you know, like the, you know, you know, the thing movement, you know, you know, the, I got to explain to you because you know the thing, right? I mean, I never heard of a president. He explained everything he would do by saying, you know, the thing, like, hello. I think the only one who did beat Muhammad in explaining something is Joe Biden. You know, the thing, I mean, we are created, uh, you know, you know, the thing, you know, <laughs> That's deep. That's deep. 
So, like, I have to admit that Joe Biden and, and Muhammad, they share a lot of things. And the first thing is, you know the thing. You know? <laughs> uh, I wish CP was my karate teacher. Trust me, if I am your karate teacher, everybody in the street will beat the hell of you. <laughs> because I will put you in the front of me and I will say, now we play karate. And you say to me, how? I say to you, you know the thing. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> and then I will collect the money for the class for teaching you. Because that's it, I taught you. I just told you, you know the thing. What do you want more? You know the thing. Uh, Mariam, 1928, oh sister of Aaron, your father was not a man of evil. You see, uh, Muslim proper, uh, who is talking here? The Jews. You see, actually, Muslim uh, Abbas, he mentioned something very important. Pro proving to us that Quran is made by a stupid man. Let me go to that verse. I was going to go, but Abbas, he, he made me stay. Hold on. <clears throat> Abbas saying, who is talking here? Abbas, who is talking here? Tell us. Give us the answer. You will say the Jews, right? Abbas. You will say the Jews, correct? Okay, hold on. The Quran guys, he address the mother of Jesus, but he never called her sister of Harun. Hey, no, he does. Because simply, uh, when you're a prophet, he mentioned something happened 600 years ago, before him, that the Jews, they gave such a title to Mary, that she is the sister of Aaron, either is reporting a historical false event or he is reporting a historical true event and if this is not a true that's mean the one who made this fiction is a liar secondly as long you are agreeing that the one is talking is the jews so how does stupid quran says make quran like this guys do you get the idea as long the one is talking there is the Jews and Abbas he said the Quran never called Mary the sister of Aaron those are the Jews so this verse is made by the Jews so how the stupid Quran says who can make Quran like this if the one is talking there is the Jews and then if this is Quran made by Allah, then it says here that she spoke Mary. This is the word Mary made Quran. Mary, she made Quran. Read it. And then the Jews they answer her. And then Isa he made Quran too. So when you Muslim you say nobody can make Quran is a joke because as you see, all the conversation have nothing to do with Allah. Secondly, you idiot, you're a prophet, he called Mary the daughter of Imran, not the Jews. Imran is the father of Moses and the father of Aaron. You said, get lost. You are filthy. You use the F word when you spoke to me. You are not allowed to be here. You belong to pigs. You don't belong to us. Muslims are welcome here, but pigs are not welcome. You are a pig. You have no shame. You call me playing the Quran and you are using the F4. You don't even respect your God. Get out of here. A person who respects his God, he will not use the F word and play in Quran in his back, background. You are a very filthy, low class person. So Abbas, when your God, he said, that Mary, she is the daughter of Amran, that confirmed the mistake in the Quran that the one who present Mary as the sister of Aaron is Allah. For Maryam, she is a truly the sister of Aaron, but this is not Maryam, the mother of Jesus. So your foolish prophet, he thought that Imran, 
which is Umram in the Hebrew. He is the father of Mary, and he is the father of Maryam. Why? Because he heard the Jews saying that Maryam is the sister of Aaron. And yes, this is true. Maryam is the sister of Aaron, but not Maryam, the mother of Jesus. Prove it that Mary father was not Omran. Well, we have in the Bible, we have the name of the father of Mary. Go read it. So you are silly. And why the Christian, they will change them, even the name, the, the Jews, the Christian, the historian, why they want to change that? The Bible speak about Joseph. The Bible speak about Harry. The, the Bible speak about Joachim. So wh why why the Bible will change names for what? 600 years before Islam. And Imran is the father of Moses in the Old Testament. So we are speaking thousand years ago. The name is written there. Nobody knows. Nobody mentioned that there is a woman. Her name is Mary. Her father is Imran. That is a lie. Except your prophet. So your city prophet, he heard the Jews saying that Miriam is really the sister of Aaron. He thought this is the same sister. And Miriam, she have a son. His name is Esau. So Muhammad, the idiot, he called Isa as Jesus. Now, according to our Bible, Miriam, the sister of Aaron, she did not get married. But some scholars, they say in the book of the tradition, it mentioned that Miriam, she have a son. And most likely his name is Isa or Isa. So Muhammad the idiot, he come with the name Isa. <coughs> uh, Muslim Abbas, uh, if I tell you the name of the father of Mary, I just told you. Abbas, he play, uh, he, uh, Abbas always, he played dumb. Abbas, if I told you the name of father Mary and the verses, are you willing to call me and explain to me how that happened? In front of everybody. What do you say? <clears throat> Shall you call me? Because in front of everybody, either we prove that Muhammad is a fraud, and we prove that the name of the father of Mary is not does not match what is the Bible saying, or you prove that it is true, and Muhammad is a prophet of God then. <clears throat> what do you say? You know, how many times you promised me you are going to call me in Pato? How many times you said you are going to download and call? And why you are not doing so? I am willing actually to make a special just time for you. And that is enough for us to prove all the story that Muhammad is a fraud. He mentioned, he named a chapter called the chapter of Ali Amran. And who is in the chapter of Amran? Mary. Who is the daughter of Amran? Mary. When they say garbage in, garbage out, like people are texting me. <coughs> garbage in, garbage out. Any Muslim? Give me the verse, I want the name. I, I, I want you to call me and we will read them together. What, you, you want me to, uh, uh, like, to get avoid the spank? Everybody will read them together? I mean, I don't know, I, you know, uh, Abbas, you are an idiot. It take you two seconds if you Google, you will see the name of Mary, father. She have two names. One is the her father from her husband, which means her father-in-law, and her father. I mention both of them. Yet you claim that you heard nothing. 
However, what about you be a man and you give me a call and now right now we are going to open the verses from the Bible and then you explain to me how your foolish prophet, he changed the name. And you have to agree with me that those names are located in our book 600 years before Muhammad. <clears throat> I will call you. I will call you. First name. Okay, call me. Here we go. Let me be sure that my pal talk is open. <clears throat> okay, Abbas. Call me, and I will get the verses ready for you to read. I'm waiting. What do you say? Waiting, I see no text from you. I have the verses open in front of me. Abbas, come on, call me. Who is a Muslim who want to take the place of Abbas? Abbas is a coward. He is not going to come and read for us who is the father of Mary in the Bible. <clears throat> we don't want you to do anything. You call me. I will show you the verses and you read them and you explain to me why the Quran being stupid. <clears throat> Anyone want to do the job? <clears throat> Anyone? All of them they are Abbas. Look, my pal talk is open and zero text from Muslims. See it? Zero text from the Muhammadan. Nobody there. Abbas is not here. The reason they will not call because it's a big embarrassment and there's no reason for the Christian to change their book. What do you say? <clears throat> Nobody? The VA giving vaccine, what does the VA mean? I'm not sure. Who is a Muslim there to call us and tell us how Muhammad he made such a mistake? How Mary she became the sister of Aaron? <coughs> Joachim is not the father of Mary. And the Bible did not say that I need a reference. Well, you are stupid to the point you don't dare to call me and I will show a reference about Joachim and about Haley. Because she have two fathers, one her father-in-law and one here is her father for real. However, none of them is what the Quran mentioned. Neither Haley and neither Joachim. Any Abdul? <clears throat> you promised me, you coward, that you are going to download Pal Talk long time ago. And what difference does it make for you? You know I'm not using Skype no more. It take you two seconds, it's for free. It's an app in the phone. 
You are just a kid. Any Muslim can tell us what is the reason behind the name differences? Abraham, his father is Azar. <laughs> what the name of the father of Abraham in the Old Testament? Search in Google, you will find how stupid Muhammad is. Azar is a word in Aramaic meaning stupid. So the stupid ones who follow Muhammad, they thought that the name of the father of Abraham is a stupid. Abraham, he was saying to his father, stupid, are you going to worship idols? The smart Muhammad, he thought because the word is an Aramaic word, he did not know what the word mean. So he thought the word Azar, which means stupid, is the name of the father of Abraham. How stupid that is. <laughs> how stupid it is to think that the word stupid is the name of the father of Abraham read with me and laugh so the name, the names in the, by the way, is it Abraham or, uh, or Ibrahim? One verse in the Quran says Abraham, other verse says Ibrahim. Because Muhammad did not know how to say the name correctly. Abraham, Abraham or Ibrahim? The same person. Once it's Abraham, once it's Ibrahim in the same Quran. Is Abraham the son of Father Azar? Muslims so the name of the father of Mary is wrong Joseph is not exist in the story <clears throat> Mary she was engaged and the verse here is saying something very stupid because if Mary really she commit adultery, the Jews will stone her to death. They did not. Why? Because according to the Jewish law, an engaged woman, she is married. But yet, the marriage is not practiced. They did not live together. She did not move to the house of the husband. She did not sleep with him yet. But legally, she is his wife. So all the story here is stupid. Joseph's name is gone from the Quran. The story of Joseph and Mary leaving the land is not in the Quran. Mary, suddenly, she is a woman who lived by herself. Mary, she go under a palm tree and she shake it. And we wonder where is the palm tree is in there. Mary, she is shaking a palm tree, and you tell me how a woman she can shake a palm tree. And especially she is carrying us, she have a baby, she is going to deliver a baby. And then the, and she hide herself. So how the Jews, they came to her? Very stupid, naive story. Then if we ask Abbas, how the father of Mary became Amran, he have no answer. Which book saying that Mary she have a father, his name is Amran. Do you have any history book says such a thing? Christian books, Jewish books, Hindu books, whatever. Do you have any? No. How a person who came 600 years after the Christians believe in Jesus and all the tradition books, none of them mention such a story. He come with a new name. Missing the name of Miriam, the sister of Aaron, with Miriam, the mother of Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, she gave birth in, in Bethlehem. Bethlehem is where is there's palm tree. Now they have palm tree for decoration. But this is not where palm trees they grow. Those people, they don't live by, they don't eat palm fruits. They have olive. They have orange. You know, this is not really a desert. Bethlehem is not a desert. If I show you Bethlehem, you, it's a beautiful place. <coughs> Mustafa, the idiot is your father, Muhammad.
You coward, why you don't call me so we can read the verse together? You see, they are afraid even to call me so we can read the verses who is the father of Mary. Very bad embarrassment. <coughs> Any Muslim there? My pal talk is open. Anyone? Cowards like their prophet. So when Abbas he says the Quran never say Mary she is the sister of Aaron, he lied. Because the Quran reporting history, confirming what the Jews they said. And there's no way the Jews will call her by a name which is not a true. Same time, the Quran confirmed the same mistake. The father of Mo of uh, <coughs> of Moses suddenly became the father of Mary. And this is a chapter three of Al Amran in front of you, witnessing for that. So if the Muslim tried to fix the first mistake, says, oh, the Jews, they say that, or uh, they used to call them by like their great uh, ancestors or prophet. Well, what does Amran have to do with Mary? There is centuries between them. The holy chapter named by the father of Mary, according to Islam. So how this happened? Any Abdul? <clears throat> Anyone? <clears throat> Nobody. Stupid cult. All the names in this cult are wrong. All the history is wrong. Muhammad, he could not quote simple one sentence correctly. Maybe we should make a special video challenging the Muslims to call us about how Amran became the father of Maryam. And we make a challenge for all Muslims to call us and prove to us wrong, we are wrong, that Amran, this he is the father of Maryam. If there's any reference in the books of the Christians, the Jews, anything in history, or this is a stupid false cult leader, his name is Muhammad, he lived between the Jews, he heard the Jews speaking about Aaron, he have a sister, her name is Maryam. He thought this is the same Maryam. This is what happened when you follow an idiot claiming to be a prophet. Anyone? <clears throat> Cowards. Uh, slum drink some honey. Uh, don't worry about me. I will be fine. Just I need to rest. Luke one five says that Elizabeth was a daughter of uh, of Arun. Then it says that Elizabeth was relative to Mary. That make relative of our own. Bingo. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, you go to the circus, you get even, you get something better. So in Luke chapter 1, verse number 5, 
it says that Elizabeth is the sister of Aaron. Uh, no, it says descendant, idiot, donkey, idiot. And what? I mean, crazy people, man. I mean, really crazy people. So you know, like when when a person he go and he try his best, and then he throw his best, and his best even even his best, showing how stupid he is. Hmm. <clears throat> oh boy. So are you saying that your prophet he got that from there? You are digging yourself more now. You are really literally being stupid. <laughs> Yes, you know, you see how stupid you are. Let us say for the sake of argument. But this is in the time of Jesus. What does Aaron have to do with that Aaron? And what does have to do with Jesus? We are talking about Moses. And you Muslims agree that when the Jews, they say, oh, sister of Aaron, he is talking about Aaron, the brother of Moses. Too late, Abbas. You are stupid. Unbelievable. Garbage in, garbage out. Any smarter person? They are smart, they are genius. Very genius. You see, the Muslims agree that the verse where it says, O sister of Aaron, they mean Aaron, the brother of Moses. All Muslims agree. And even we can show you the hadith. So your game will not work, idiot. Secondly, if she is sister of Aaron, how she became the daughter of Aaron in the Quran, you idiot. I mean, she became the sister of Aaron in the Quran, she is the daughter of Aaron in the Bible. Potato. <clears throat> Descendant. You know the thing. I mean, you know the thing. <laughs> uh, it's it's so clear. It's so obvious. That Muhammad he thought that Mary she is the daughter of Musa's father. Look at the name, the chapter, the daughter of Amran. The daughter of Amran. Do you see it? Right? Okay. And so Abbas. Where is Amran in the story? And what does this have to do with Aaron, the brother of Moses? Is this, is this Aaron, the brother of Moses? You are being silly. <clears throat> silly people. Any Muslim would like to call us before we go? Any Abbas? Hmm. Abdul is texting me. Oh, this is not Abdul. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, someone saying left Islam, became a Christian. Okay, that's wonderful. And you know, the, the, the important always is uh, 
that when the Muslim they mention to us something from the Bible, you will notice like that is, uh, as an example the name of uh, Elizabeth. Uh, when this woman she said that the one the one who is in my womb, he bow down to the one in your womb. Why the one in her womb is going to bow down to Jesus? And all of us renew that John the Baptist is one of the greatest of the prophets. He's not just a not just a name. So why such a man in the womb of this woman bowing down? To the Messiah. And remember that in the Jewish tradition, if somebody is older or is going to be born soon older than the one who is just now, she Mary, she just uh, know that she is having the, the child who is coming. The younger, he should always respect the older. Not the opposite. In the Middle East, if you are a person who have, let us say, ten brothers, and you have a visitor come into your house, the youngest is the one who will serve the guest, not the elder. The elder they will treat as the father. If the father is there, then the elder will be next to the father as respect. And that will go all the way down to the youngest. So why someone he is older would bow down to someone is younger? <clears throat> and they say to you, where Jesus was worshipped. Before even he was born, he was worshipped. Look what Muhammad Sa'id is saying, you better go and take a rest. Uh, and don't worry about me, I will go soon. Actually, you know what, to be honest with you, uh, I enjoy talking to Muslims f for two reasons. Number one, Christians will learn how Muslims they play games. Number two, we teach Christians how we get them busted with their games. And this is why I'm trying my best to encourage them to call me. Because then the Christians and the Muslims, they will see the two sides of the story, not just a text exchange. Real talk. And then people, they can decide who is telling the truth, who is not. But as you see, they are terrified. They don't dare. This potato Abbas, he keeps saying he would download Pal Talk for the last century. When download Pal Talk is going to take him a second, he asked me to show him the verses. I said, call me. I have the verses in the front of me in the screen. You call me, I will make them read. I will make you read them. They will, he will not do that. Because he tried many times to call, and he became so popular. People laughing at him. Right? Why, you know, Abbas, isn't it you who said to me the same sentence last week and the week before it, inshallah, tomorrow? I mean, it take you, you see that by the time you, you are saying, by the time you are saying, I will call you, you will get the call done. Why tomorrow? As long as you have contradiction, call me now, show me the contradiction. Now. I am here for more than four hours. I'm already tired. This is your opportunity to knock me down from the first box. Four hours, almost four hours and a half. So if I am you, I will take the opportunity and I will call a Christian prince now. But because you know that you are no match and you know you are scared and terrified like the rest of you, you make the execute saying to me, inshallah, eh, Allah is willing, but Allah is not exist, so nothing will be done. Inshallah, here we go. We go back to zero about Allah. There's no free will in Islam. Why Abbas is not calling me? Because Allah never will. It's not his will. It's Allah will. 
<laughs> when a Muslim he call us, every call is worth more than gold for me. Because all of you, you will die laughing at Islam, not at the Muslims. I don't care really for the Muslim. I'm not here to insult the Muslim or to make fun of him. But the Muslims are my helpers. You see, everything I accomplish is by the help of the Muslims. The Muslims, they said to me, if you are brave, come and debate us in Paltok. I used to go to a program called Hear Me. So I went to Paltok. I went to Paltok and we made a disaster there. A disaster. Then the Muslim, they start posting pictures saying this is me in YouTube. So I said to myself, uh oh, the Muslims are inviting me to do something. Oh, there's a program, it's called YouTube. Why I don't use it? So I start doing videos in YouTube. The Muslims in debate, they said to me, if you are so much knowledgeable, how come you have zero books? I said, to, oh, they are right. I don't have books. So let me start writing books. So I start making books. The Muslim, they said to me, if you dare to make cartoon, we will kill you. I said, okay, let me make cartoon. So maybe they will kill me. I made cartoon. I mean, everything I did, I did because Muslim, they said to me, can you do it? Do you dare to do it? I am here in YouTube because the Muslims, they brought me here. Honestly. By the way, how many of you did not watch my cartoon yet? Too bad we lost the... Uh, and I used to have like the high uh, uh, quality version of it. Uh, <clears throat> why you don't open your Skype? Uh, Abdul, I am in Pal Talk is the same. Uh, Skype, I have 10,000 people keep adding me uh, to, to add them. I spend the day blocking people. Now the question is for you, ha ha Hakit. Why you are so coward not to call me in Palto? It's the same, it's a program. Huh? Be a man once for your life, you coward, son of Muta. I was opening my sky for the last 15 years, you donkey. Where you been? More than 15 years, I have my Skype open. Now you are talking about being a man. Where you been? I just switched switch from Skype to Pal Talk just a few weeks ago. When you, where you been for the last 15, 20 years? Potato. Drinking camel urine. And what difference it does make for you? Here we go, it's Pal Talk. It's the same. Download it. It's an app for free. Potato. Coward. It looks like the camel urine you are drinking is not making you brave enough. <laughs> Look who is the coward. It's me now. <laughs> Every video I go live, I say, who want to call me? Who want to call me? Like now. I go in Skype. Who want to call me? Anyone want to call me? And nobody call. And now because I changed. Now if I go back in, in Skype, they will say, I want to call you in Pal Talk. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking, uh, people, they told me there's a program, it's called Discord. Uh, I never tried it yet, but I'm thinking maybe it's a it's, it's good idea. So we can do chat there and people, they will speak easier. I never tried, but people, they are saying it's a good program. So I will see, maybe I will use it, you know. But anyway, all those programs is to, to make the calling easy. And Paltalk is the same as Skype. Actually, it's better because... When somebody is talking to me, nobody can disturb us and keep calling us. Do you have any other degrees part of Islamic Sharia? Yes, I do. <coughs> uh, 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 Abbas, you call me 100 times and all of them, they made you look funny and stupid. You have to admit. If I go right now and search a Abbas Christian Prince in YouTube, what I will find? Hilarious. So, Abbas, stop. You promised me many times before you will call me in Pad Talk. 
for me I'm not using Pal uh, Skype no more and I explain myself anytime and it's up to you you want to call me call me you don't call me we go Abbas you know what go here we go I, I will block you get lost I mean why I need to argue with you you are my guest sitting in my lap playing with my beard and spoiling yourself I'm gonna call you there no gonna, this is talk of kids real men don't waste my time don't waste my time I'm a Christian prince you are nobody you are a potato you are a person who drink camera urine you are a person who go around the stone, kiss a stone through a stone. You worship stones. You are a person who dream that your penis will be endless because obviously you don't have one right now. Otherwise, you will not dream about a prophet who will give you endless penis. Those who dream about such a thing, it's mean they don't have it. Why am I wasting my time about you calling me not to call me? Don't call me, who care? People are laughing at Islam anyway. Get out. My other degree is driver license. What's your business? Don't ask me stupid questions. Anyone here will come and ask silly questions. I will ship you free shipping and hand it into Allah. I have no degree. I don't know how to write, how to read. What does this have to do with the topic? Get out of here. I don't have time for stupid talk, silly people who they are. Christian Prince, what is the size of your shoes? What? What? <laughs> uh, yeah. Who care if you call me if you don't call me? I don't call. I don't care really. No, Karim, I will not call you. You are a potato. We got you busted and you are a coward. Get out of here. We spanked you and you got you got enough. You see, you have no dignity, Karim. Yesterday, you made me lose my voice, made me scream, and you scream and you laugh. Because I say to you, the Holy Spirit is a spirit. 24 hours after you call me and you agree that you are a donkey. Then we spoke about which one is created first. And when we got you busted, you start laughing crazy and you hang up yourself and you run away. Why well, I want to talk to you, you're a kid. We give you a chance. We, you know, we speak to you as a man when you deserve to be a man. I made you lose my voice or truth. Everybody knows what happened. It's recorded. You became famous, Karim. The recording we have today is going to be published all over. Do you know how many channels they record my, they take my channel uh, videos? In a few months, it's going to be watched by millions of, 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 of uh, Indonesian and Bangladesh, you name it. Get out of here. It's recorded that you accepted that Allah finished the earth first and he finished the mountains first. Bingo. There's no need. You see, for me, you are a burnt card. Burnt, burnt. That's it. Almost time he called me. He say his stupid things. I have no use for you no more. You're a flat tire. I got what I want. Can you read? I said pal talk is not letting me call or for free. Uh, this is your daddy ultimate. Uh, you are just a trashy person, a garbage person. You are not even a Muslim. This is a person who said that all the Arab scholars and the Arab, they are a scam, including his prophet. This is a person who said that I said that Jesus, he did have something bad with his mother. When I, in fact, I was reading, I was answering a woman, a Muslim, on what she said. Very filthy, very trashy, low class person you are. In the top of that, this is a person who accepted the book of the person who was killed by the Muslims for corrupting the Quran, claiming that this is the only Quran he accepts. And we have your videos already recorded and published. You are a flat tire too. 
This is the donkey. He says to me that the word Arab does not mean Arab. <laughs> does not mean the Bedouin. <laughs> And he is the one who said, now you know, my memory coming back, it's unrecorded. He says that you do not need to know Arabic to understand the Quran. Okay, what translation you accept? He said, we do not need the translation to understand the Quran. Okay, you do not know Arabic, you do not want translation. So how do you understand the Quran? He said, we do not need anything. <laughs> he does not know Arabic. And he do not need translation to accept, to understand the Quran. Okay, so how do you understand the Quran? You understand the Quran? How? You don't speak Arabic and you don't accept translation. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid talk like this? He don't approve any translation and we do not need translation. Okay, wonderful. Do you know Arabic? In the beginning, the coward, he played that he knew Arabic. You know, he tried to, he think he can fool me. But then when we got him busted and we show everybody that he don't even know one Arabic word. He said, well, I do not know, need, need to know Arabic to understand the Quran. <laughs> and okay, and you say to ultimate fault, which interpretation you agree with? We do not need interpretation, so why I want to debate you about what? I mean, who are you? Obviously, you, don't, you have a new religion. You do not know Arabic. You don't accept any translation. You don't accept any interpretation. Who are you? Are you a prophet of Allah? This guy is is a is a is a prophet by himself. He knew everything about Islam. He did not need to know Arabic. He did not need English. He did not need interpretation. He don't accept the hadith. That's it. We will talk about what. Crazy idiot. And he go in the front like in his channel like supposed to. He is like a hero, Christian prince. See Christian prince, he run away from me. <laughs> yeah, I run away from the stupid people like you. <laughs> we don't. We don't need Arabic. Okay, what translation you want? Oh, we don't need translation. Okay, what interpretation? Oh, we do not need interpretation. All oh, the interpretation done by Arabs come back. That's what he said to me. All the interpretation, all the Muslims are scum back according to you, yes, brother, according to him. Idiot. <clears throat> and look, uh, <laughs> when I say to him the Arab, what the Arab mean? Uh, he want to explain to me what the Arab mean. I said to him the Arab is the Arab Bedouin. He said no. They are not uh, Abdul. They are no. Okay, read. This is your Muslim translation. No. The like, what? Okay, what translation you accept? I don't accept any translation. So what we would do? Okay, what interpretation you accept? I don't accept any interpretation. Okay, but do you know Arabic? So you can explain it without the translation. Okay, you see, if somebody he speak Arabic and he says I don't accept any in a translation, I he get a point. I agree with him actually, because all Islamic translation is stupid. But if you do not accept the translation, then you have to know the language. He don't know the language. And he is the guy who said, you do not need to know Arabic in order to understand the Quran, which means the Quran is made by a stupid God. Why? Because the Quran said it clearly. We made the Quran in Arabic language so you might understand. Idiot. <clears throat> Allah said, We made this book in Arabic so you might understand, you might know. All those verses saying that you are a donkey. Chapter 43, verse number 3. When you say to me that you do not need Arabic to understand the Quran, and Allah say the opposite, that means you are an idiot. Verily we have made it in Arabic, Quran, that you may understand. Do you see it? So, in order to understand, you have to know Arabic. A Muslim who don't speak Arabic, he don't understand. 
And the funny is that the Arab who knows Arabic still they can't understand. I mean, do you see how clear the Quran? Because if the Quran is clear, we will not thousands of book it's called the books of interpretation why we need them and why the Muslims agree about not to agree about what the verses mean if this is so clear do you know what I mean okay so Allah now he made the Quran in Arabic is the Quran become clear to the Arab no and the proof in the front of you, look at them, even those who speak Arabic, they are very confused. Even when the Muslims, they explain the Quran, at the end of the explanation, they complete the explanation by saying, and Allah knows best. What does that mean? We explain nothing to you. In the interpretation of the Quran, you will see the scholar saying, the Islamic scholars, they agree about not to agree about what the verse mean. What the agreement is, we agree not to agree. This is the only agreement. They agree not to agree what the verse mean. Even the Hadith, the Hadith is strong for a group, is weak for a different group. The same Hadith. Hadith is approved for a sect, it is approved for different sect. The same hadith in the same book. If you ask a Muslim right now, okay, Allah have a hand. Uh, Mimi, he says, who said so? Okay, do Allah have a hand or not? Each one of them, he give you his own definition because his Quran is so clear. It's really clear, you know. <clears throat> uh, who was here yesterday? You remember yesterday we have a, a, a when I was in the Muslim website, and the Muslims they uh, they text me in their chat. You remember? You remember? I asked them a very simple question: Why the Prophet he kissed the black stone? What the guy he said to me? Uh, the question is very simple. Why? Okay, why the prophet he kissed the black stone? He said out of respect. I said so. It's just useless. He said no. It's not useless. This is an act of worship. Then I showed him what Omar he said. Omar he said I know that you are useless and harmless stone. The, you don't harm. You don't benefit. Unless I saw the Prophet kissing you, I will not be kissing you. Okay, wonderful. I gave him this, he says, but, but Omar saying this is useless, what he did, he hung up on me. Because the Muslims disagree, but they don't dare to say Omar, I said to him, so Omar was lying? You said to me, it is not useless. Omar says it's useless. Which one? This is not a religion. This is about guessing. So they say to you what fit with your, let us say your knowledge. They try to fool you, but they cannot give you an answer. The second I insist to have the answer, he hang up on me. He closed the chat. I did not speak to him rude. I did not use bad language. I just said, uh, so did Omar lie? Or he did not. <clears throat> uh, Abdullah, he changed his name. You see, they come with a new name. They are the same people, you know. Yeah, this is the same person. I can see even his IP. Yeah. Yeah, the same kid. He changed his name. I came with a different name. <clears throat> anyway. Like now, if we go to the Quran right now, okay, and Ibn Abbas, he is saying that the earth is surrounded by Azur Mountain. Okay, this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas, chapter 50, verse number 1. 
Is that going to be consistent? Interpretation for the verse? No. Every scholar, he give you a different story. Okay, how come we have the same religion? And this is the cousin of Muhammad and he is considered as a Muslim Sunni. How come the other Sunni, they don't have the same interpretation? This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. Look at this interpretation. Kaf, Allah knows best what he means by these letters. This is interpretation now. Allah knows best. And remember, the Quran says we made to you the book in Arabic, clear Arabic, so you might understand. I mean, do you see how clear it is? It is clear to the point, the interpretation for the verse is, Allah knows best what he meant. This is interpretation. <clears throat> we just changed the scholar. The other one, he made cough a mountain surrounding the earth, the sky taking the color from it. The other one, he says, oh, nobody knows what is meant. Okay, question then. So how the first one, he said, this is a mountain. If only Allah knows. You see what, you know what I'm saying? If only Allah knows what he meant, how Ibn Abbas he come to this conclusion? I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? Sod. Look at this one. Sod. And from the narration of authority of Ibn Abbas, he said the interpretation of Allah saying Sa'd. He said Sa'd by the Quran, i.e. repeat the Quran, enter, distinguish between, what, what does that mean? What Sa'd mean? Any, any Muslim can tell me what Sa'd mean? <coughs> what does that mean? You change the translator, the interpretation, the Ibn Jalalain. Okay. Look at this. Saad God knows best what he means by this. Look, what is the, what is the, are we reading interpretation or are we reading a, a hide and seek? This is the interpretation. Allah knows best what he meant. Okay, who knows then? Nobody knows. Choose any chapter in the Quran. You will die laughing when you read the interpretation. Look at this. The chapter 34, Allah, he starts saying, praise be to Allah. I mean, how in the word Allah, he says, praise be to Allah. Who's talking Allah? Okay, how Allah, he says, praise to be Allah. Muslims, are you listening? How Allah is talking, and Allah, he says, praise be to Allah. For him, everything is in the sky, everything in heaven. This is a prayer made by a man. There's no way God is saying that to himself. That is silly. Praise be to Allah. For him is what in heaven and what is in earth. And uh, uh, for him is the praise, alhamd. And he is wise. And he is expert. He's what? He's expert. Read with me. All the praise be to Allah. Okay, who's talking? Allah. What's wrong with this religion? What is the religion? I don't see a religion in the religion. How Allah, he speak about Allah, saying Allah knows best. All praise be to Allah, thanks to Allah. There's no way this is Allah speaking. This is a man speaking about his God, obviously. This is Muhammad making Quran.
Praise be to Allah. Who said so? Allah. Hey, nice to meet you. Literally, stupidity is amazing. We have to admit. And then Allah, he says, all things to Allah. Again, you just said that. Look, and all the praise to him. Okay, hold on. You just said all praise to Allah. And then you say again, all praise to him. I mean, you did not even walk two, two, two steps away. You see, when we talk about God, we talk about the most wise, the most advanced, the most smart, the most knowledgeable, not the most idiot, the most stupid, the most donkey. You just said all praise to Allah. Why after two seconds you say the same thing? And then he knows everything. Okay, who's talking? Allah. Okay. Why Allah don't say and I know everything? He knows everything? He who? Obviously, it's a man writing a book. I'm talking about my God. I say, oh, praise to God. Oh, makes sense. I'm praising my, my Lord, the one I worship. And then I say, he knows everything. That makes sense. I am talking about my God. But God saying this doesn't make sense. This is stupid. This is silly. This God, he have an echo problem. He is, you know, praising himself nonstop. So Allah, he prays Allah. So then the, isn't it the man he should do the, the, the business of praising you? This God is so silly to the point he keep praising himself. He stand in the front of the mirror. Oh, I am Allah. Uh, but he don't say I am Allah. He says, oh, praise to Allah. Alhamdulillah. Allah is all knowing. Uh, it is him who created everything. Like, who is talking? Uh, I am the one who created. So why you say it's him? You see, the ideology here proving to us that the person who is talking have a mental issue. So when Muhammad, he wrote the book, always he forget to switch from him talking to his God talking. He forget or he forgot. And you can choose any chapter in the Quran and you will see how stupid it is. There's no connection between the verse. Look, look at this verse. Chapter 34, verse number 13. How many times we heard the Muslims saying that Islam is against the statues? How many times? Guess what? This is the Quran saying that Allah he ordered Suleiman to build the statues in his temples. And look in the translation, they took the word statues away. It's gone. You have to change translation until you get lucky and you find one of them by mistake, he dropped the word there, statues. Look, I changed already three translation. I don't see the word statues. Let us see a uh, big tal. Bingo. Finally, we got the word statues. Okay, hold on. How Muhammad, he destroyed the statues around the Kaaba, and then Allah, he ordered his prophet Solomon to build temples with the statues. And he have images. And he have pictures. And then we go to the interpretation. We see that those statues are statues for the prophets status for angels every muslim scholar start guessing status of who how islam is against drawing a picture allah muhammad he says the one who he draw a painting allah will bring him in the day of judgment and he will force him to blow at the paint he made 
to give it supposedly a soul, like uh, how God created Adam, as a punishment. And then here you say to me that this God, he orders Suleiman to build a synagogue full of statues and images. What's wrong with this religion? And then right away, the, 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 the stupidity start getting bigger. The guy, he died standing on his stake and nobody noticed until the termite ate his stake. I mean, this is God. And when we decree death for him, nothing showed his death, save the creeping creatures of the earth, which gnawed away his staff. This is God talking. Abdul, this is a story you can find in the books of the tradition of the Jews. It's a legion, it's a fairy tale. That there's a king, his name is Suleiman. They tell it to their kids. He dies standing, holding a stick, and nobody noticed that he is dead. Enter the termite, they ate his stick. <laughs> this is God. Anyone knows what a chapter we are reading? What a chapter we are reading here? <clears throat> Who knows? Let us see if any of you remember what we are reading. Who knows? What chapter? I know my voice takes some time to arrive to some of you. Chapter 43, no, chapter 34. Chapter 34, Seba, Seba, supposedly the city in Yemen. This is about the queen of Seba, and the, the name, I mean the, the story, supposedly. Seba, chapter 34, verse number 14. So Allah, he decreed said Solomon, he will die. But he died when he was holding his staff and he died standing and he stayed standing for a year. This is a true story. I know my grandfather, he stand on his staff and he stayed standing for a thousand years. Why? Because his staff is made from aluminum. So the termite did not eat it, hello? I should enter now, he's standing. I mean, this is from God. Yeah, chapter 34, verse number 14. So, and how they find, I mean, the guy is a king. He is a king of a huge kingdom. This is Suleiman. The army, the soldiers, the ministers, the captains, the generals, the men, I mean, the wives, the guy, he had many, nobody noticed he's dead. So he stand holding the stick. People, they come to him, hey, honey, do you want to eat? He don't answer. Nobody noticed he's dead. The first week, the second week, the third week, the first week, the, the two month, three month, four month, five month, six month, nobody noticed. True story. I mean, can you really deny such a sorry story? You cannot. And then you go to Ibn Kathir. And this is why, by the way, I mean, uh, like, they don't want us to go there. It's very embarrassing. So when they want to say to you, if, 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 uh, if the interpretation is what they like, you know, they are, they are, you know, let's go to Ibn Kathir. If not, they will hide from Ibn Kathir. Look what Ibn Kathir is saying, not me. This is their website. He is saying here, <clears throat> Allah tell us how Suleiman, peace be upon him, died and how Allah concealed his death from the jinn who were subjected to him to do hard labor. And he reminded him leaning on his stick, which was his staff. Ibn Abbas, may Allah blessed with him and Mujahid and Al-Hassan, Al-Qutada and others said that he stayed like that for a long time, nearly a year. 
Nearly what? How long, how long? A year. Do you see it? And then what happened? Then the termite, when the creature of the earth, which is a kind of worm, ate through his stick, it became weak and he fell into the ground. Bingo. True story. Do you see why they don't call us? Because wherever they go, it's embarrassing. And by the way, like I, I, I bought a, I bought a steak made from aluminium. I bought it from Amazon, and wherever I go, I take it with me because I wanna. I, I don't want people to know, especially the Muslim. I don't want them to notice that I'm dead. I will go live, you know, like now. Right now, I'm holding a steak actually. To be honest with you, made it from aluminium. So, uh, I hold the steak. Because what if I die now? You want the Muslim to know that I'm dead? No. No way. I will stand on the aluminium stick and because it's made from aluminium, there's no way the termite can eat it. Hello, termite. Nice to meet you. See, I'm smarter than Solomon. You cannot eat my stick. And not only that, I'm going to spray the room where I, I am now so no termite can get it close. If you ever termite, Mrs. Termite, I'm warning you, get even think about, don't even think about it. I mean, your teeth will really will go like, I mean, like, come on, you cannot eat aluminium. Crazy, stupid, eat a termite. So I will stand holding the stick made from aluminium, and the Muslim, they will come to my program. For the coming thousand years, and nobody noticed that I am dead since long time ago. <clears throat> True story. The guy he is standing alive. I mean, look at the stupidity. Have you ever heard of a human being? Okay, so what if he's holding a stick, you idiot? How someone he died, and now because he's holding a stick in his hand, he stand on it for a year. I mean, have you ever heard of a human body get decay, stinky, collapse, his belly will be open, the worm will eat what is inside it? A year. So the termite was eating the stick and nobody want to eat him? As I know, there's many creatures would like to eat the dead man too, from inside him, not only from outside. True story. The termite, they want to eat the stick. They will not eat Suleiman. Because Suleiman, he's smart. Before he died, he did not spray himself any spices. He did not put salt. He did not put like, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, like salad next to him. So the, uh, the, the creatures will not eat Suleiman. But the stick is made from a nice wood. It's tasty. What is this? This is the link for what we are reading, if in case you want to save it. But please don't make a book about it. Because if you try to make a fiction movie, uh, sorry to say, you are still in the idea of a Prophet Muhammad, who he stole it himself from the Jews. You see, the Jews in their in their in they, they have they have a lot of legions, and this idiot Muhammad, whatever he hear from the Jews, he make it legitimate. He make it that Allah told him. You see how fraud he is. If this man he have little, little intelligence, he will not believe what the Jews are saying to him. I mean. What kind of prophet this prophet is? He believed what the Jews just said to him. That there's Suleiman, he dies standing. He take it, he put it, he made Quran, he claimed that Allah told him. Now it's time for me to tell you a true story. It's time, I think. I'm dead since two years ago. But I'm holding the table. And my table is made from aluminium and glass 
and this is why none of you notice really that I'm dead than two years ago actually more than two years it was two years and two days and two hours and two seconds plus two part of second because I'm stuck with number two I'm afraid to say three years and three days and three seconds that mean they would most of them accuse me with the Trinity thing you know so I'm dead since then and I'm talking to you you know because it's possible that you can be dead and you're talking and because you are, it's possible to you are dead and you're standing too you know why this guy did not even sit down I mean why he Allah he made him die standing isn't sitting down is even better oh this is story sahih I have witnesses I have mr. might here next to me hit her might you want to tell them the story look she have her teeth is ready if you don't believe me you don't believe my story I believe the termite the termite is you know yeah this is from Sahih Biden you know the thing actually you know what I think the only one who can explain Islam is Joe Biden you know the thing the Prophet he said uh, if you cannot change it by your tongue you change it by your hand look at this idiot unbelievable stupidity is amazing no this is a true story true story I mean okay how come the Muslims don't believe in this story hey Muslims if you are listening to me how you believe that a king his name is Suleiman was standing for a year and nobody noticed and yet if I say to you I am dead for two years and you do not believe me what is different between my story and his story which is taught by Muhammad Right. <clears throat> right. Any Mohammedan? Yeah. Anyway, I think uh, actually I am very thankful that Muhammad he lived between the Jews. Because if he did not live between the Jews, we will not find those garbage story in his books. Like, you know, Muhammad, he explained, uh, he heard once a Jewish woman saying that uh, if you pee in your feet, you will be tortured in the grave. Muhammad, he took it. And he told him that Allah told him, that the punishment of the grave is because of piss. Can you believe it? This is from God. So Allah, he sent an angel saying to Muhammad, he claimed that this is from Allah, not from the Jews. But we know the story. Even in the books of the Hadith says the Jewish woman, she came and she had a fight with Aisha about it. Because Aisha, she said to her, you are lying. Then Muhammad, he says, no, she is saying the truth. Yes, there is a punishment in the grave, and most of it because of urine. So look what Muhammad, he come now. He heard the Jewish woman saying that, and since then, he, wherever he go, he say, urine is the main reason for punishment in the grave. If you rape, Allah will not punish you in the grave. If you are a child molester, Allah will not punish you in the grave. But if little P come in the top of your foot, Allah will torture you in the grave. The messenger of Allah said, the most of torment of the grave is because of urine. Makes sense. Urine. The Jews, they tell their children stories to scare them so they keep themselves clean. They say to them, if you if you do if you do pee in your when you pee over your foot, God will punish you. So the kid, I mean, this is their culture. So the kid, what he do, when when he do pee, he will be so careful not to pee around. Muhammad, he believe it. He put it in his religion, and now it's part of his Islam. That's it. Most of the, there's, if you go right now and search for the torment of the grave, <clears throat> you will die laughing. Is it possible that there is a God who told to his prophet, 
that I'm going to punish somebody because of piss. Is it really possible? If there is any Chrysler steer, then died Suleiman. I don't know what is the, what, what do you mean, my friend? Sorry, I did not understand the words you are saying. <coughs> anyway, uh, and after Muhammad, he learned from the Jews that there is a punishment in the grave because of piss. Since there, since then, wherever Muhammad he go, he never stops saying, "I seek refuge by Allah from the punishment of the grave." Before that, he never mentioned it. This is telling you that Muhammad he copied the Jews and tell the Jewish woman she come to the house of Muhammad and she mentioned that Muhammad he never pray right <clears throat> uh, hey, swim we have no time for kids here my friend all of you Muslims can destroy me okay but Muslims leave Islam here you can say whatever you want we don't have time for kids all of you can destroy me, but none of you dare to call me. I mean, you make a video, debate me by in the video. If you want to debate me, call me and let us see who destroy who. Cowards, potatoes. <clears throat> all of you are heroes, and all of you, you die on the stake. Nobody dies sitting, and you stand on the stake for a year. We know the story. Hmm? Why well, you don't call me and you destroy me yourself? And you can tell me what the, what the, what the Muslims taught you if you are a Muslim, supposedly. Destroy me, here we go, record it. Which one is better? To call me, destroy me, show everybody like whatever your argument is and then I don't worry about recording it I'm recording it already and then you take the video and you post it in your channel don't you want to have victory to Allah what's wrong with you none of you dare to debate me who, who of you dare to debate me all of you are a bunch of kids all of you. <clears throat> All right. You see, the question is, if the Muslims, they have answers. So why they are fighting themselves over what they say? Actually, just wait for my coming video. It is hilarious. I'm not going to say what the topic. Because... I invite Muslim to join us because you will die laughing. Literally, you will die laughing. I will show you two Muslims. Two Muslims laughing at each other religion. Not Christian Prince laughing at you, but don't worry, my love is coming. So I will show you what the Muslims are saying, and then we will laugh with them at Allah and his messenger be my witness you will see life on air Muslims making fun of Allah making fun of Muhammad making fun of Islam they are making fun not me you will see anyway guys it's time to, for me to go uh, it's already almost five hours oh it's 5 30 5 hours 30 minutes only that's not much it's not much really very fast video you know the thing so before we continue for more I better go all right and now like you know I would do what the Middle Eastern do you know Middle Eastern when they have a visitor and he's leaving supposedly like oh no I'm, I'm in a rush I have to go I have to go and then in the door of the gate in the door like you know you have like a, a house and then you, you walk your guest all the way to the building, uh, to the front gate, you know, of your house. And now they stop there for like another hour. 
supposedly they are leaving, you know, like they are leaving. Honestly, this is true. This is what the Middle Eastern they do. Like after they stand up, they shake hands. Okay, we see you. Thank you. Bye bye, etc. Now they go to the gate. In the gate, they stand for another hour or so. And now they are just, they are done. So I hope that will not happen in our case here. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Uh, I'm not going to keep this video for long. Don't forget to download it if you care really for downloading. Uh, it's going to be here for, you know, maybe a few hours. By tomorrow we will take it. And uh, uh, prepare for the coming video. It's going to be hilarious. You will love it. And we will enjoy it very much and i want the coming video to be downloaded for sure by every single one of you because it is really hilarious i promise you it is one of it is kind it's recommended to me by muslims unbelievable <laughs> so until i see you soon again may the lord bless you all and I don't know if I will do it tomorrow or the day after. Just watch in Patreon and you will see when I post and you join us. Thank you. God bless you. And may the Lord have mercy on us, on the Muslims, and all the lost souls, <clears throat> all those people who they are under the influence of drugs. And drugs has many kind of influence. Uh, there's a drugs of religion, fake God, fake prophet. There's drugs of real drugs, cocaine, heroin, there's alcohol, there's addiction, there's all kind of a crazy stuff. We pray that the Lord will free us from all kind of addiction. We pray that the Lord will make us free. He said, search, read the books, know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So we pray that the Lord will set them free, and we are talking about the Muslims. We don't hate them. We will never hate them. We are fighting against the cult of Muhammad, not against the individuals. Those are poor people and they need our help, not our hatred. So we pray for them. As we say, we pray to every Christian because many of us, they are just Christians by name. They need a lot of help too. So do your part. I do mine. Thank you very much. God bless you and see you soon. Take care.